two. Hello, everybody. <sighs> Welcome. It's Wednesday, April 26th. And we're off the rails, baby. We updated the background. Thank you to Cameron. We now have the train. The train wreck is off to the side. You may notice uh, some uh, goofs and gaffs flying around, some UFOs and stuff. So we got the rabbit back, a mythical, uh, j what is it? What is this? Jack jackalope. 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 We have a mythical jackalope here. So it's all come back together. Yes, thank you, everybody. Uh oh. Oh, no. No, 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 Nice. This is us. This is us right now. Uh, yeah, today's episode, we have no sponsors, so please consider, <laughs> yes, becoming a member. <clears throat> yes. This episode is brought to you by viewers like you. Today, right. And sp uh, we are supported by viewers like you. Thank you for your support. <laughs> Actually, members get uh, a live every Tuesday BTS crew reaction to lore videos, access to Discord, participate in chat and polls, early access to live show tickets. That's it, baby. <laughs> also, you can consider going over to teddyfresh.com and picking up some uh, some fashionable streetwear. It's all happening over there. Yes. And by the way, we just did a photo shoot yesterday that was so epic. I can't wait for you guys to see the, that. We had, we hired like a pyrotechnic. Is that what it's called? Pyro? Uh, yeah. Pyro. A pyro, a pyro guy. A pyro guy. We hired a pyro guy. Yeah. We hired a professional pyro guy and we got all this fire and shit. Fire, it's fire, awesome. Fire. But yeah, go consider support us that way. Thank you. Thank you. All right. To the show. <laughs> now. I have some uh, terrible news to share with you guys at the top of the show. Today we were supposed to have a beloved doctor come and digitally uh, insert inside all most of the guys here in the office. Digitally? Well, that's, that's actually yeah, proper. Finger. <laughs> yeah. That's what finger means, is digital. Like your digits. Oh. Yeah. Smart. Big brain. Big brain Ethan moment. Thank you. Digitally penetrate us. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, last uh, night, he got cold fingers. <laughs> and he said, you know what? I don't think this is for me. I went immediately to his ZocDoc and left 50 fake reviews. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. He's a good guy. I get it. So we're looking for alternative doctors. Mm. And we will find one. We will. To come in here. We have a pretty decent lead, but it was just such short notice. that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, no, doctor, I want you to use two fingers. <laughs> I was so pissed. I, w I was telling you before the show, I got all prepped and uh, clean, extra clean. And um, did you um, did you do shout your butt? I didn't do shout my butthole, but you know, I got I got a clean ass. Yeah, but I was just, mm. you know, well, we'll ha we'll we'll have a heads up next time. And uh, but unfortunately, it's not happening today. But. The good news is we put together a great show for you guys, which is, you know, unusual for us. Finally. <clears throat> we have the Crowder's uh, wife left him mega episode, which is just fun. And I mean, listen, you never want to make fun of someone's divorce. It's horrible. But with Crowder, you want to make fun of any misfortune that yeah. happens well, to him. A fucking nightmare. Uh, yeah. Besides the fact that Crowder is the family's value conservative who talks about... Uh, that single families are ruining America. Of course, being racist. Talks about uh, gay people shouldn't be able to, to adopt. And yet, here's this man with a broken fucking family, and his wife left his ass because he's just so intolerable. 
My yep. wife went out for pizza without me. I mean, how many times has she caught him cross-dressing? And again, I think that's fine if you guys communicate about it, but walking in on that is going to be shocking. You know, like how many times does she have to walk in on him wearing her panties? It's just, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a shocking sight. To be clear, we don't actually know that that's, we don't know why they're getting divorced. Right. Making a bit of an assumption here. Well, he does dress up. He does cross-dress. He does very much enjoy dressing in women's clothing, which is not a problem. It's a problem to him. That's the irony. Not a That's the real irony. Yeah. It's not a problem for me. Right. My God. I need to talk about my wife in this context. <laughs> no, you're good, Liver King. Uh, you're good. I so, wanted to wait until tomorrow to talk about it because it kind of leans more on the leftover side, but my God, it's, it's just... It's like the hottest story right now. It's all over the internet. Well, and because we are prostate uh, got axed, I, yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, I agree. I mean, I'm sure Hassan's having a field day with it, so yeah, yeah. I want to have my fun with it, too. Yeah, but what a loser, huh? And what's the, <laughs> and what's the deal, right? What's the deal with these white, Christian, family values people can't stay married? These motherfuckers cannot stay married to save their life. Yeah. A lot of them seem mean, I think. Right. A lot of them don't just respect seem women could be mean. the problem. It could yeah. definitely have something to do with that. Uh, and his take, his video about this is legendary. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting through all that. But first, <sighs> listen. <laughs> I. I so don't want to do this, but I feel that it's getting to the point where I have to. Yeah, and I've tried, I've tried my best to avoid having to talk about this, and I'm not kidding. <clears throat> there was a post on the subreddit, I just said erase it, because if I have to talk about this, Dad is going to look like a fucking idiot. Talk about the allegations! Dad has been popping off about... Me and A.B. Just, like, for no damn reason. And I don't understand what is wrong with this guy. A.B. 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 Yeah, that guy. Yeah, what, a -B, a -B, what could be wrong with that guy? A.B. 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 And, like, a -B. <clears throat> I don't, I, I'm not, I don't want to go in on him too hard. Uh, and I don't want to, and I don't want anyone to give him a hard time. But you know how it is with, <clears throat> when it comes to things about me, is that there's so many people that hate me on the internet. When something like this happens and dad starts saying all this shit about how we made him cry and <clears throat> um, he just cried a lot. And uh, no, he said, I don't know, he's saying that I was, we we're super mean and that we sabotaged him and that I'm a bad person and stuff. That uh, people take it and run with it and build all this whole crazy narrative. So my policy on all these things, since... Um, since years ago when, you know, the whole internet turned on me when Keemstar made this whole propaganda campaign is to always address this stuff when it comes up before it turns into a thing. Yeah. And I just want to say I was I was very disappointed when I saw this. I, it, it hurt because uh, I always, you know, I consider dad to be a close friend. I still do. So this was very surprising to see. I literally just put out a video prior to seeing these clips saying nothing but good things about dad. Yeah, I mean, me too. We, we, well, yeah. I know we got a little caught up in the moment, I admit that. But when we came back, we gave him all the love, I made a tweet about him, I invited him on the show, he said no. Which again, he, he, he really... Okay, where do I start with this? Uh, yeah, there's been a few posts on the subreddit of people being like, yo, what's the deal with dad? Um, let me start with, let's start with this one about AB, which I thought was so out of pocket. And I'm not, the reason we're only talking about this at all is because of the, the shit he said about me that's pretty wild. But, uh, here's it, here's dad talking about AB after the fight, <laughs> or this is from the same stream. Here it is. Let's take a look. Partners purposely don't go super hard because they're <clears> protecting <throat> you. So you're training and you don't want to get knocked out before your fight. So AB's punches were the hardest I experienced, but I, after he punched me, I was like, oh, this is nothing. I can take these all night. That's why I took them and just worked on his body. But I think he would have punched harder if his form was better because he was throwing straight up windmills. 
If dude, that's so fucking that's like so corny, bro. To be shit talking mm. AB. Like, first of all. You won. You won. Yeah. That's it. You he you won, <laughs> won. bro. You yeah. got the dub. You're mm -hmm. gonna come out and like shit on your opponent. Who, by the way, trained super hard. And by the way, dude, as tough as you want to act, your ass was scared as shit. Mm -hmm. I saw you. Yeah. We all saw you getting your ass beat out there in that first round. And pe people who are saying this is a bit, I messaged him myself yesterday, responded to me saying same thing and saying that he's just, it came from a place of him being upset that he trained so hard and I didn't. And I don't, like, I can't, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Like, that... AB trained I, so much. I went through hell. <laughs> and I was okay with the loss, you know, but hearing shit like this, when I initially heard it, Lena was live on stream, and that's when someone sent it to me. And I was like, all right, let's go to a, let's go to a gym this week and let's let's spar, Dad. <laughs> if you want to have a camera, it's up to you. I don't give a fuck if you want to do it or not. But uh, after seeing more of this, like I, that was when I thought he was just talking about me. But hearing him see, seeing him talk about Ethan and everything too, I was just like, all right, I'm not getting involved in this because it's never gonna end. This is not a bit. Yeah. In fact, when it is a bit, he says it's not a bit. Yeah. He, you know, guys remember he got all butthurt about the chair thing, which he continues to bring up. But here, let's continue about the AB thing. There's more than a bit. If he had trained, he streamed. We saw him. He streamed every day. He did a 48-hour stream two weeks before the fight. Why are you bitter? You won. He sounds bitter. But first of all, that's such bullshit, bro. You can stream and train. You're not training 24 hours a day. The stream that he's talking about, I left... Twice during that stream to go work out. And I started That's it awesome. right after I worked out. That's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. By the way, he says you were throwing windmills. That's not true. And by the way, his form was not fucking like that amazing. <laughs> Dude, we both looked like shit. I mean, like, I'm just trying to like, just, we both, it, yeah. it happens. But we, yeah, we both looked, I wasn't used to dealing with a fighter like him and he has a weird style as well. We both <laughs> looked like ass. I mean, it's a YouTube boxing match. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that serious. <laughs> but you know what? It makes sense that he, he, <laughs> He's saying I should have tried harder, but you won. Maybe that is why I lost. Maybe I shouldn't. Whatever you want to say, just take it. Take the win. You won, bro. Take the dub. You won. It's not a grudge match. Damn. When I was, like, in the thick of it. So, I think that's why he didn't do as good, because he would put more effort into streaming this year leading up to the fight than he did training. I think he could have been better if he had trained as hard as I did. Well, to be fair, you have literally nothing going on except for this. So, <laughs> not as easy for him to train as hard as you, theoretically. Well, and, and to be honest, I think I trained a lot more than him, too. I think he started the last few months while I was doing it long term because he was traveling and stuff. But, yeah, whatever. This, this... This claim that you didn't train is so stupid, bro. It's just, it's insulting. It's, it's lame. It's insulting, yeah, to a lot of people, yeah. You, you trained your ass off. Dude, I put While it, doing a full-time job, which his ass doesn't have, by the way. Yeah. I would wake up at 6 a.m., go running. I worked with Ian's coach, Michael Briggs, the whole time. And then after, the, and he would send me a new plan every Monday. And then after work, I'd go straight to the gym. And depending on when the show ended, I'd either train there for two, maybe two and a half hours. <coughs> yeah. We disabled chat, by the way, because <clears throat> I don't want. The there were. I just turned it yeah. off because everybody was already arguing with each other in there. Yeah, it's, it's sometimes it's better. It's better just turn it off while yeah. we talk about things like this, so it doesn't get all heated. Uh, but yeah, here we go. But I mean, it's all hypothetical. Definitely. And, you know. uh, definitely. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we we don't know, do we, anything about what he did or went no? Through. I don't know. I don't. He never told or, me what he uh, actually did training wise. But like based on his streaming schedule, and he was live all the time immediately after he'd get home from H three. Uh, there was no time for him to be training. He what the fuck? It's bro? just not. It's, not it's at just all so like. not true. Mm -hmm. I would never stream it before a show day either. So that's how you know that it's off. Well, right. Well, you trained. You trained before work usually, didn't you? No, I'd. I'd Run oh. before work and then after work, I I train until the gym closes. Yeah, he's always running out the door after yeah. the show to go yeah. to the gym for mm -hmm. the last six months. It feels like yeah. Do not train twice a day every single day like I did, bro. You're not Floyd Mayweather. You're a washed up YouTuber. Why is he doing this? I don't know. I don't That's what's so crazy why. to me. Well, he, uh, 
Why? He's so salty about what you won. Go ahead, Dan. Well, I just think we should maybe take a look at the stuff where he's talking about you, because I think the stuff about you explain, I don't think he was <laughs> saying any of this about AB if he wasn't so mad at you. Right, okay, so let's finish this, and then we'll, we can address why he's, I guess, angry. Although, it's super unfair for him to turn it on you, AB, but mm -hmm. I don't even know if that's why he's doing it. Yeah. That's why I was able to take headshots for hours, because that's what I trained for. Didn't look like it, buddy. That man was scared as shit. This man trained to get headshots for hours? Okay, I'd like to see the training. How'd you prep for that? Just homies punching you in the head? Maybe that explains why your emotions are so unregulated. Well, it must have not been that hard if I was the hardest that ever hit him. Right. He hit right. <laughs> I'll have you know that I had my friends punch me in the head a thousand times a day in preparation for this fight. And it has left no lasting effects on my brain. I'm pissed off for no fucking reason. <laughs> Interesting. That was the uh, gentleman who holds the world record for the most walnuts smashed with his oh, forehead. Oh, right, 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 right. Yep. Right. I recognize that soundbite anyway. Thank you. Thank you. All right. A little deep cut, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I don't know. It doesn't really matter ultimately. AB. Oh. AB is doing really well on streaming. I'm happy for him. I'm very, very. He seems jealous. You need, yeah, let this. I forgot about this part, yeah. I'm glad it's going well. Neither of us are boxers. Neither of us really want to be boxers. <clears throat> I do. I have a psychotic urge to win, and I will do whatever it takes to win, so I think that's why I did win. And AB, I don't think, really has that as much because it's not that important to him, which is understandable it shouldn't be when you're an internet entertainer plus his game looks kind of fire <clears throat> what game is that does anyone know Which sure. it looks like ratchet and clank maybe oh oh I'm just gonna say that too? One of those or shit something? i didn't realize it looked so good this new one <clears throat> i'm not totally positive on no, that. that's the game i mean <laughs> he got he, he did pretty well out of creator class, didn't he, really? Yeah, he got a ton of new viewers. Yeah. He's got crazy subs. Dude. Oh, it all worked out. He's so jealous. of. That's what this is all about? I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. This is... <laughs> I, I didn't even know he was trying to be a streamer. <clears throat> I, in my video I put out yesterday, I randomly threw in the most random-ass <clears throat> clip about him just to plug his Twitch. For no reason. I just, I don't know. This is all so fucking bizarre to me. Holy shit, he's so... Oh my god, dude. Ugh, brother. Imagine I won. Hey, I don't know, you wanna, I mean, guys, go... Uh, I, I, apparently, go sub to dad, you know? Amazon Prime dad. Let's get, let's... Let's, hammer, you let's to Amazon Prime dad. That's all that matters at the end of the day, right? <clears throat> Good job, AB, by the way. Apparently you're crushing it so hard that this dude can't even fucking live straight. <laughs> Good for you. For him. I won, but I still have. Uh, do you think possibly, Dad, that your personality has anything to do with the reason why? Okay, so maybe I'm being too mean. But I mean, what is this? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm being too mean. But I, okay, wait till you see what he says about me. You know what? You know what the problem is, though. <laughs> it's definitely not me. <laughs> oh, more than you did have. I do have more. Yeah. This man just thinks people. He's just entitled for people to watch him stream. Just why? Like you have to at least do something that people want to watch. But okay, let's watch what he said about me. And I guess maybe I gotta. Here. Maybe just posted his Creator Clash video. Did oh, you want yeah. to watch it? Yeah. 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 Uh, maybe. I don't really care. <laughs> like so over Creator Clash right now. <laughs> oh yeah. You won, bro. You had a triumphant victory. Everyone was loving it. The entrance was awesome. There was huge dubs for you. It's like so stressful. H3 audience, H3 audience really made it like not fun and stressful. So I know there's. It was like, stressful in so many ways. I know there's people in H3 audience that are like nice, but there was a lot of lousy crap that I'm like, 
Yeah, whatever. And even after the fight, when it oh, was proven. Yep, yep, when yep. And there's just a lot, proven, of, a lot of were... annoying. I think that's just people. stands, though, isn't it? And, and the cult like. Um, what is he talking about? That we were getting, like, we were getting kind of riled up. So we, some people were like, I don't think it was a lot. Some people were like, yo, dad played dirty. And by the way, we made it very clear. We're like, listen, that was a, a legit win. It wasn't dirty. AB was clinching too. Totally yeah, we questioned it for a second during the live stream. And yeah. we all clearly didn't know the rules. And then as the live stream kept going, we were like, oh, clearly everybody's doing it. And we yeah, 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 yeah. But even before the fight, every comment that was in support of me, he was responding to. These people had one like, if even, and he's responding saying, oh, you'll see, you'll see. Like, and just... I don't know. He's very defensive. He's too in the weeds because yeah. I don't know. I I usually see lots of overwhelming support and love for Dad. Yeah, our own audience. A lot of people say, "I love you, AB," but Dad's gonna win. It's like, okay, I, whatever. Also, it's a competitive sport. Yeah, like there's gonna be trash talking and stuff. Like you. But he's the one that wants to get the, into the WWE. He's, bro, he's the one that comes to the way in with a picture of AB's grave on his underwear. Like, yeah, he's that's the, what I'm that's talking another about. thing. It's yeah, like, he has merch with my gravestone on it. Like, <laughs> why why do you get to dictate what's a bit and what's not a bit? Yeah. Like, I don't understand that. Exactly. The way that they are, some of them, most of them this are fine, suffers. But, <laughs> but unfortunately, the trolls and the mean people have, have the loudest voices. There's, yeah. yeah, okay. I mean, it's also <sighs> just the way the act, the full actual H3 crew rea reacted. They were like incredibly mean to me. Grow up, bro. Dude, they were watching someone they're with every single day of their lives <clears throat> fight. You yeah. did the same yeah. thing last year to Brett. And possibly be very injured. We I was concerned. really worried about yeah. him. I was really worried. And by the way, again, it's like, dude, grow up. We imme I immediately retracted it. We need to play baby time for dad. Dad actually turned out to be the kid. Right. Baby Barnett. And, you know... I don't know. It's such a weird situation. Oh, like, <laughs> baby it, it is. Even... Well, and the, the only reason I'm... Listen. <clears throat> he knew that this is what would happen because this always happens whenever he, he this started to get tons of traction on our subreddit and then it becomes a thing you know and then keemstar makes a three-part documentary about how i destroyed dad's life or something like that <laughs> you know after the fight when i was saying nice things about them they're just ignorantly rude and horrible just because i won it wasn't that serious it's also, I w would like to add, we couldn't hear his speech afterwards because we were all talking and texting and we lowered it because we were trying to figure out what was happening with AB. Yeah, I was afraid. We thought our friend was dying. So we weren't we weren't blatantly <laughs> Is that okay, Dad? something that was playing. We, j we genuinely didn't hear it happen. I thought he had ruptured an organ and he was dying, Dad. Is that okay with you? He dies. Is that what he's referring to? That we muted after we saw AB get really that, injured? That seems to be what he's upset that's about. that's fucking insane. <laughs> what the hell? What? Because I, what? Uh, all I remember is Ethan tweeting that uh, he was proud of dad and he's a dad fan. And then after when we were on the show on Monday, just saying nice things about him. So, yeah, that must be what he's talking about. Because I, I saw he was upset. So I was mm -hmm. like, I want to make it clear that... Dad is family. We like dad. Yeah. We love dad. But uh, I don't know what he wants me to do beyond. I don't know what more he wants. And it was like, all right, this is this is how you really are. Okay, you weren't like this. The Hundar. They didn't act like that. The Hundar. They never. Hundar does not. We talked all. so much shit on Hundar, and it was playful, and it was fine <coughs> because Hundar. <coughs> understood that i mean he came on the show right after and it was all good zach called him bitch boy brett for like six <laughs> months <laughs> he was bitch boy brett on this show like we were always shitting on Hunter. but again hundar you you he got that it was a bit yeah but you're the one that's it's talking shit bro right 
I'm You're the, the one that's fucking saying his name 10,000 times with the, <laughs> with the gravestone. Do you not understand? Like, you are engaged in this. Pundar also redeemed himself. This is stupid, but he walked out to Slayer for his entrance, and it was pretty fucking badass. Yeah, he won Zach over with the Slayer yeah. walkout. Yeah. Mm. Slayer, Hundar. Slay. <laughs> Beast boy, bro. They didn't act like that to Hundar. They never invited me on the show. Ethan just kept always saying, Oh, we gotta get Dad to call in. Okay, first of all, you are not entitled to be on my show. Okay? You can come on the show if I want you to come on the show. That being said, we did invite you on the show. Yeah, it's just, what? <laughs> and, and he said no. And he's been on the show previously. He's like, been on, he's the show been on this show times. multiple times. I don't, I don't know if we've said that publicly, but he said he didn't want to come on. Yeah, you can say it now. I invited mm -hmm. him on, and he said, and he was scheduled to call in. He was still traveling at the time. Mm -hmm. And obviously this we wanted to- the fight that we're talking about. We, the yeah. next, that on Monday, AD was here, Dad was still traveling. Of course we wanted to talk about it on Monday. He was still traveling, so we said, Dad, call in. He was meant to call in, and then he sent AB a text saying, you know what, I don't think, uh, I don't think I want to call in, I guess because he's so upset. So, like, why would you say I didn't invite you, bro? And again, not that I owe you that anyway. Me on the show, Ethan just kept always saying, oh, we got to get dad to call in. Hundar was invited. Dude, you said no. He's acting like it was an empty invite. We literally had three people message him to tell, try to get him to call in. Call in. Hundar was invited on the show to chat and hang out. I wasn't. I okay. Well, maybe we. Maybe I like Hundar more than you. But that's my. But I'm. That's my right. Self fulfilling prophecy, too. It though, is right. Like, you know. But that being said, we did invite you. That's yes. the crazy part. We did. You know. I'm entitled to fucking, uh, this is my goddamn show. I can invite Hundar on and you not if I want. But we did invite you. <laughs> Just to be clear. I was only said call in so that they could do damage control because they were so mean to me. Damage control, bro. I was just trying to be nice. Because, you know, after the first chair fiasco, dad, dad kind of rubbed me wrong after the whole first chair incident where we were doing this bit and then he's like the guys really are mean about the chair thing and that turned into a whole mini drama uh so i've been a little bit skeptical because they were so mean to me they had to be nice to me after <clears throat> and i was never offered to even go on the show i mean it wasn't damage control this be it was just we were just trying to be nice i wanted to uh, i just want to make sure he was you know why does he keep saying something that's so easily disproven like it, this is honestly weird like him saying they never invited me to go on the show like you know how dms work right <laughs> like we we have the receipts of it <laughs> I, I think he's trying to argue that we, he didn't get an in-person invite. He wasn't here on Monday. He was yeah. out of the state. Yeah. He wasn't here. You were here on Monday. God. It's kind of a hot topic. Did you want me to? Did you want me to hold my show for you, Dad? As apparently he is the rightful uh, dictator of what should and shouldn't be on our show. Or offered to even go on the show into the studio. So it's like, all right, dude, you're just trying to cover yourself. And you were like super mean to me this year for some reason. And you weren't ever like that to Hundar. The whole year last year, they were not that mean to Hundar at all. Like he, they weren't even like making jokes about me. They were just being, they were saying F you. And they're just saying straight up insults <laughs> with no joke at all. I don't know. I what could probably put about. like a 30 yeah. minute compilation of us talking mad shit on Hundar. Like you're just wrong. You're but wrong. I don't know what he's talking about. We were saying we were just mean with no punchline. Because after he's the, the one who was saying he was going to kill AB again. It's oh god. After the first chair thing that went kind of sideways, I was like, okay, he's obviously sensitive and stuff. So I'm just going to be straight. I'm not going to do any shtick and stuff. 
And uh, so I'm not really sure what he's talking about. All, and it was just, why am I even like associating with these people that are just like so uncreative and so uncreative, just <laughs> randomly negative? Hold the phone, Skittles man. <laughs> Don't call me uncreative. I'll have you know that uh, at behind this curtain, I was ready to have a, a doctor finger me in the asshole. <laughs> now you want to call me uncreative? I've never seen that on YouTube. Have you? It's a performance. Why don't you make that another 20th Skittle commercial? Talk to me about uncreative, Dad. Mm hmm. Hunger. Hunger. I got creativity coming out my ass. So bad that I need a doctor to check it. On the show live. Thank you. See that UFO? Oh, creative. Come on mean to me. Also, let's compare his streaming setup to yours, AB. I mean, yours is a lot cooler. Oh, mine is fucking dope. That's what I'm saying. You know, there's a reason people like your stream a lot more than his. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was stupid. <laughs> I was like, this is dumb. I'm not involved with any of this anymore. I'm, I'm over it. So that's how I feel right now. I'm kind of like, yep, I won. I won fair. And we all said that crap they said, I don't even care about moving on. That's so that's where I'm sitting, right? That's where I feel right now, how I feel right now. Fair enough. So there you go, whatever. Fair enough. Yeah, this game looks it's just sick, though. This is Clank's mm -hmm. ruined. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Is that a multiplayer game or is it all? Ha oh, it is a multiplayer game. I think you could co op it. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. Clank's game. Clank's is out there. Rift Apart. A rift apart. Ratchet and Clank. I gotta look up. I wanna. Mark see. Mothersbaugh made the soundtrack. Who's that? He's the main dude from Devo. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'll tell you after the show. He does a lot of for. TV yeah, he does a lot of composing for TV and games and stuff. Uh. Thanks for the game recommendation, though. Pretty good reviews on that too. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you could play it on the um, Steam Deck. Like it's a uh, PS5 only. Oh, yeah. That could be good though. I have a PS5. Okay, you know, so something go. something good did come out of this. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I'm, excited, right I'm excited to play uh, Clank and Ratchet. Something like that. Something about a rift. The bit from the beginning there was supposed to be a chair bit that he straight up purposefully ruined we're all about the fucking chair again i don't even know <laughs> how to talk about the chair thing it's so cra it's so crazy to me that this chair thing i'm really Yoda's gonna yell at me any second now to be like stop you're gonna get you're gonna bring in unnecessary drama to your life which is probably true, but mm. there was a, a bit that they approved. Listen, if nobody was posting this on the subreddit, I wouldn't care to respond to it, right? They talked about behind the scenes when I brought the, when I was going to do the chair bit, and Ethan decided to completely change the bit and not talk to me or anyone about it. And then I got... <sighs> what was the bit? What was the bit in his mind, do you think? Okay. Super mega... It all started with Hassan going on Super Mega's podcast, right? And they gave him a tiny chair, and it was funny. And then Ethan, as a joke, they sent Ethan a tiny chair. And this was all a Super Mega Hassan H3 thing, right? And then Dad decides, oh, I want to be part of this. I'm going to also send you a chair, and this is going to be the greatest chair ever, right? That's like the bit. But you understand, like, the bit was that they sent this crappy chair and Ethan acted all offended and destroyed it or, or shat on it or whatever. Hold the right? phone though. Right. Because he did not send me some Ethan Allen. That's what I was about to say. It, he sent us a bunch of random crap from Amazon. Right. Unassembled. I'm going to send it. Which it's fine. Just, and just, we just, said we were going to assembly it. Yeah, and we that's said fine. we would assemble it. I want to, I want to say that. He but we didn't he, know what was arriving. He said he said he could do it, or because he was busy with something, or if we we could do it if we wanted to. And I said, 
and I asked the crew, and we said, yeah, we could do it. Yeah, because I thought yeah. it would be like, you know, an Ikea thing. Right, You're but right. this this is where I totally lose the plot so here. I what think, was the bit in his mind? So I'm pretty sure it was super mega offended Ethan. Right. And then Dad wanted to send a nice gesture but it by was, sending but, a skinny chair. But, but did the, he not understand that that was a joke, like the super mega thing? Hold on, hold on. that hold was on. all real? Do we have the, what, the leftovers of that chair? Because the, the yeah, ingredients so. included to make this chair was like duct tape, comically rubber human feet, like a torn apart chair. I mean, this thing was objectively like dog shit. It was right, all, and that's, it was what all I, like, that's why I'm lost. Like, wasn't the bit that you sent us a crappy chair too? Like, I, I think there were like memes on his channel and that's what made it confusing. Like the duct tape, I guess, is a meme on his channel. It's shit that we didn't understand, so it just looked like- still not nice. about that? It's not nice. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it's, it, it's not. It's not like he sent me like a, a, G, a GeForce 10,000 gamer chair, and I like burned it. Right. I mean, that would have been obviously a different bit. And then, so he sent that, and we talked about it, and then he came to this, pick it up, right? This is it. <laughs> this is what he sent me, you guys. This right. is what he sent me that was so nice that I was that I was supposed to have reverence and love for. So who didn't get the bit here, us or or Dad? He said, "Hold on, let me go back, and you guys can watch what he says <laughs> over this picture." The scenes when I brought the, when I was going to do the chair bit and Ethan decided to completely change the bit and not talk to me or anyone about it. And then I got forced into doing this weird chair bit he started, which started the whole relationship with me and them off on the wrong foot. <laughs> and Let me go back a little There's further. No... We talk about how nice the chair is. Uh, so there you go. Whatever. By the way, my intention with that was to set him up. For like a nice little riff tiff for tat. Like I was gonna clout him up. We were having like this whole chair feud. I did a whole segment on the show about it for him. Right. I didn't ask him to send me a fucking chair. You know what I mean? He's just like, hey, yo, include me in your show. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let's do it. You know, like he's not fucking entitled to. Oh, this is from an hour ago. So no, I mean... no, 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 not an hour ago. I think this was right after you broke the chair. Oh, 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 oh. Time, yeah. yeah, this chair. This is the chair he's talking about. It's just, it, Ethan ruined the bit from the beginning. What there was bitch? a chair bit that he straight up purposefully ruined. Bro, this you chair? Like, Stop, you're going to get, you're going to bring illusion. This is where I start to like, just not even be mad, but just true. like, what? But like what's going on there here? A, a bit that they approved, they talked about behind the scenes when I brought the, when I was gonna do the chair bit, Ethan <laughs> decided to completely change the bit and not talk to me or anyone about it. And then I got forced into doing this weird chair bit he started, which started the whole relationship with me and them off on the wrong foot. I, I suppose he I wanted me to to sit and with reverence and love for this incredible chair, which couldn't even support my weight. It breaks if you sit in it. So, like, what, did, what am I, as an entertainer, supposed to make of this chair? And again, I guess he came and built it, right? He sent us all these separate fucking things from, like, an Amazon order and expected us to know how to build this for him? Even if he had instructions, it's just, again, it, like, that's fine, but, like, what... He says I mean, that like there was communication about this beforehand, and we decided to change the plan. Like, what in his mind were we supposed to like praise this chair and be like, "Oh, this is the greatest thing <laughs> yeah, ever"? The, like, the, I, yeah, I the bit didn't really it. make sense, and I think we got a little confused. Actually, if you go back even to the episode, we're a little confused about what's going on. And after the fact, he then did a live stream where he said a bunch of stuff, talking bad, and 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 then you reached out to him, I believe, Ethan. I believe you guys talked about it. And he's like, oh, I didn't know it was going to go that way, but I guess now, yeah, I, well, you just play it up. I want to play it up like I'm the sad Oh, loser. yeah, he told me it was a bit. Yeah. I was like, bro, are you seriously upset about this? Like, and and it, he's like, no, it's just a bit, but they, I was just doing a bit where, but people took it the wrong way and they ruined it, but exactly. he's actually not doing a bit then or now. Yeah. Right, so you even tried to address it with him privately mm -hmm. and he deflected and what? Either he's lying then or he's lying now. Well, and then also, before we went on this live here today, I, we, I once again wanted to reach out to him uh, personally to ask him what's the deal, and he unfollowed me on Twitter. So he's pissed. Ay -ay -ay. And, you know, again, like both times I tried to work it out with him behind the scenes. This time, too, he just unfollowed me. Um... Uh, 
which means I can't message him. But yes, this should be, this really should be in the, uh, where's all the crown jewels at? Uh, Tower of London. Oh, it's in the Tower of London? I think. I thought it was in some museum. The Tower of London is basically a museum, I believe. Yeah. This belongs in thank, the Tower you, <laughs> of London. <laughs> yes. With yeah. all the greatest gems humanity has ever unearthed. Told you. The fact that this fair share, uh, a, a testament to the peak of human engineering. While sucking a smoko was disrespected by me is a crime punishable by death. I'm dreaming of my next Tucker. What would you think if you got this chair? You were meant to do with it. Booyakashi. <laughs> I mean, what especially when it's a follow-up again to Super Mega also sending a crappy chair. Like, it felt like a continuation of that joke, no? To be honest, Super, yeah. Super Mega 27's chair was cooler, was better, was nicer. And correct me if I'm wrong, so he sent us all the stuff, and then we talked about it on the show, and we're like, Dad, what the fuck, why'd you send us all the stuff? And like, play it up, like, what are we supposed to do with all of this? Yeah. And then he came here, Right, A.B.? To pick up the stuff so that he could assemble it. Yes. And so when he came here, that was my first time meeting him in person. I walked right up to him, introduced myself. I was happy to see him legitimately because yeah. we had talked to him a bunch. Mm -hmm. And I said and I said to him, you know, this is all just like a joke, right? We're just like fucking around. He was fully in on that the fact that it was, it, it's like pro wrestling. We were like playing it up. And by the way, we knew AB was fighting dad at that point, but it wasn't publicly known. And so it was all kind of building Wait, up did? towards this rivalry. No. We knew that far back? I don't remember. When he came to the office, we did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, when you were like, hey, you know this is just a joke, right? It was after he had like was venting on Twitter about what an asshole I am. I don't think so. I, I forget that part. I just know that, you know, obviously we have a, on the show, we were like leaning into this like, Dad, what the fuck? Why'd you do this? So I wanted to make it clear when it came in that like, we're just fucking around. And I did. We I shot him in a video where like everyone was being mean to him. Right. And then we, that was the day we shot that video where he came to pick it up and we we're like, Dad, what the fuck? I mean, we have that footage. He's like completely in on the joke. He's laughing with us like when we cut and everything. It's like And he I have to even suggest be meaner to me here, right? Yeah, you... there he said he said, Yeah, be meaner to me at this point. He says push me down the stairs or something, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Right. So like that was part of What's the next? Joke. He'd be like, hey, like push that, me down the stairs. Right. And at that point, <laughs> it seemed like it was all good. Like it all came out of left field. And it, yeah, and when he did that live stream the first time, we were talking about, well, do we want to bring this up then? And we didn't want to, you know, bring him any hate. We we're just like, no, talk to him privately. And you guys supposedly figured it out, but now he's doing this again. So it's, it's wild to me. I think he's going back to the first thing he mm -hmm. got mad at me about that I thought we figured out. And he said, no, it's all a bit. And now he's back. I knew it wasn't a bit then, it was too real. I'll Is this all back. a bit? Is this all a bit? Usually people promote fights uh, with fake beefs before the fight. Right. Yeah. That's right. Not yeah, after. That's true. I mean, there's, it's not very funny to, like, demean you, his, his uh, opponent, after the fight. That's just corny. Yeah, I mean, so. it, it sucks. You know, I, I go to a very serious gym. I felt like I was, like, even lucky to be there because I was the least talented there. And they still worked with me. And I feel like I let so many people down, you know, and... Uh, it sucks. It sucks to lose. I, there were fans I felt horrible. They drove all the way from Michigan. Some, you know, even further drove to come see me, and I gave them one round. And I felt horrible about that. So for him to say shit like I didn't take it serious, it's just like, well, it's AB, up. you didn't apologize to the most important person affected, right? Dad, right? As you were dying there of a rough, of a ruptured liver, mm -hmm. you should have crawled over to Dad, as he. Hopped on the the ringside ropes and begged for his forgiveness. You should have kissed his feet and said, Dad, with my dying breath, I have this to say to you. Forgive me. I'm sorry about your dad passing away. <laughs> back, 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 yeah. Please. Please forgive me. Say anything about it because it was I was just trying to go along with whatever was happening. But Ethan 
in my opinion. Problem with that, it was a lot, still too early. It was no one knew so, I was like, fighting him. Knew. It was nine yeah. months before it was ever going to be announced that that A B and I. Bro, we were we were doing like a whole plot line. It was going to be great for you. It was going to be so good for you. Again, this guy wants to be in the WWE, and like. He's like, gonna get so butter. Yeah, so yeah I, that, I imagine. Like, I don't understand. Like, like, have you ever watched wrestling? Do you know what a heel is? Like, you're playing a heel, but then getting upset when people are treating you like a heel. So. I love the idea of him, like, behind the scenes, getting super mad about <laughs> some bits out on WWE. Yo, I want to say, bro, that was super mean what you said to me out there. And I know, like, you're doing shtick, but honestly, dude, that really hurt my feelings. <laughs> Can you imagine what their reaction? I were fighting and he just started being yeah. randomly rude to me and people were like, wait, why are you being mean to dad? I thought dad was a friend of the show. So because of Ethan, because he's, in my opinion, an actual crappy person and I used to like him, I used to defend him. And I was I'll be fine without you defending me, Dad. And and you know what? Can I just what say what, to while say, he's though. while he's like, saying that the reason you, you could have wrote out on him a long time ago. We got the footage, we got the text, but you didn't want to put his ass on blast like that. You exactly. didn't want to, you were protecting him by taking all that heat because it was weird for him for you not to be able to just acknowledge it publicly why this makes no fucking sense. And it sort of seems like he took advantage of that. See a lot of people don't like Ethan and that's totally fine. You don't have to <laughs> Oh, like come on, Charlie, you too. <laughs> Damn. Oh, damn, no, now Dad's among the ranks of the the fallen fans. Oh, now I must defend Ethan Klein. Oh, no, I don't want to pay. No, 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 I have to do it. Oh, shit, not the quartering. Um, and you guys know that I, listen. It's not easy for me to let someone say that kind of shit about me and just let it slide, but I did, I did. Yeah. It's not easy. Cause I'm fucking crazy like that, you guys know. <laughs> and even now I'm showing a little bit of restraint. No, trust me, I know. <laughs> you know? We could pull the receipts, but that's just petty and silly. Could pull the footage of you laughing, asking the guys to push you down the stairs. That's stupid, it's silly, it's petty, we don't need to do that. I could pull the text messages that you sent me th at 3 a.m. threatening my family. No, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. That didn't happen. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, he says I'm a crappy person. It's like, come on, dude. Seriously. And I used to like him. I used to defend him. Actual crappy person. And I used to like him. I used to defend him. And I was like, all right. I get why people complain about him now. Oh, he he's a fallen. He's a totally fallen fan, man. He's like, I'm with the haters 100% now. I get it. They was right the whole time. Keemstar, my DMs are open, baby. This was being really unnecessarily mean to me because he thought it was a funny bit, but yet no one knew why. And the bit for the chair was a completely different thing. It was a nice gesture for me. Okay, let me open the chair again. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there it is. Here he goes, the, this wonderful gesture. For the chair was a completely different thing. It was a nice gesture for me to, the joke was, dad was trying to be nice because eight, Mega 64 was mean, to That's, them, was mean to Ethan. I'm trying to send a funny, innocent, kind gesture sending this chair. He twisted it to, to make it so that he could start hating on me. And it made no sense. It was the dumbest bit ever because there was no reason for us to be feuding. And that was the beginning of a disastrous <laughs> back and forth between H3. And there was no back and forth. I mean, it was just you being a dick. And me trying to calm things behind the scenes, you know? But now we got a back and forth. Oh, there's not going to be any back and forth. I just want to address this once. But uh, just let me know if you want this to go to the London Tower or... The Pal the Versailles, uh, any you know major museums. Who, if you have any takers, let me know. I'll send it to them. Understand this is a collectible, highly prized. The nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, frankly. 
as a person who prides themselves on <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And few. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this for real? Is this real? Okay, so this this I guess makes sense. This is King Charles. It's a replica of his chair. That makes sense. Okay, so maybe I was disrespectful. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. That's my bad. And WWE style beefs. Okay, this is my favorite part. I do. This is, this is. Feuds and WWE style beefs. That's like what I do. It's what he does. WWE professionally with Dolph Ziggler. Ethan is just kind of an idiot. And makes this man is, this is what he does. It's who he is. That's what I do. So fuck me, I guess, for getting that wrong. Himself only good and does not make other people look good because he can't take any insults. Ever. Oh, Ela's pissed now. Ela said there's no chat, but I want to leave a comment. <sighs> she said, how dare he say Ethan's a crappy person? Can you say that? I'm pissed hearing that. They better fear Ela. Thank you, Ela. Actually, Ela, you're the great. Thank you. I love you. I agree. It was kind of shocking, but... Uh, Fucking baby. <laughs> you pissed off Ela now, dude. You're fucking you're crazy going that route, boy. You don't want to mess with me. Mm -mm. Thank you, Ela. I love you so much. You're so beautiful. It's stunning, and the photos you did yesterday are awesome. Thank you. And you're about to give birth to another beautiful third child, and I'm so excited and proud of you. By the way, she's not pregnant yet. It's not an announcement. Ela said, I interpreted the chair bit exactly the same as Ethan. Yeah, I mean, I saw the whole thing playing out. It was, it, it, for me, I saw it all. I was like, yo, I'm gonna hook that up. This is gonna be a great bit. A fucking dozer. Anyways, I'll stop talking about it because I'm like, gonna just start rambling. Yeah. So, H drug. so H3, <laughs> whatever, dude. I know the audience is nice, but Ethan is pretty stupid in my opinion and no one ever tells him that because he's the boss and they have to just they tell me that all the time dude <laughs> i wish they'd say it less i wish they'd say it less <laughs> ab we had a call a meeting yesterday and ab goes listen dude oh, i gotta God. break it to you you have to stop using chat gpt too much on this <laughs> he's show. right I, after i said that i was like please let someone fucking back me up and, and thankfully <laughs> Dan backing me up, but uh, man, I was... No, I went into it, and no yeah. one would back you up on it. <laughs> GP's up. I get called like, an idiot by these guys daily. And, I, and I'm, I think it's awesome that we have a, a workplace where you're open to letting your employees shit on you all the time, so thank you. Idiot. Don't push it. Don't push. <laughs> Don't push. No, I'm kidding. I'm a radical communicator. I appreciate people who speak frankly and openly. Because then, how, I mean, how else are you supposed to know anything? I don't want to be surrounded by yes people, men who don't fucking tell me when something, you know what I mean? It's wrong. Let me speak! Exactly. I don't want you to sound like that, A.B. <laughs> it's pretty stupid, in my opinion. <laughs> and no one ever tells him that because he's the boss, and they have to just make everything better for him and let him say stupid things and then just why do you presume to know so much about what happens here like whatever fake ass fan fake fan dad act like he didn't do anything dumb when he's actually is he talking about the chair thing he thinks that everybody <sighs> whatever dumb. dude take responsibility for his actions every once in a while yeah anyway <laughs> the only thing I can think he may be referring to is because after when we were texting, I was like, oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't know it was going to go like that. But, yeah, it just kind of happens on the show. But that was because we, I did tell him that uh, we would build it. And then when we got it, it was like, what the fuck is this? But that's the only angle I could think he's referring to. I mean, I was to. doing improvisation. Yeah. I was uh, was riffing. I was raffing. I, I just mean, don't want him to think like, yeah, I was like I intended on fucking with him. But I don't know. I was riffing and I was mm -hmm. raffing, brother. And so that's that. So I just want to address this one time. Don't give dad a hard time, you know, but uh, uh, what can I do?
you uh, you have to. And like at first, I was angry. That's why I was telling him, all right, you think I didn't get training? Let's go spar wherever you want at first. But then after like seeing more of the footage, I just I kind of felt, I don't know, something something's not right. So you know, I wish him the best. And uh, yeah, he's no. going through something, I guess. Yeah. But like the ironic part was like I'm I was I mean I'm still am excited to watch him fight again. He's an interesting fighter, and now that he's not up against you, uh, obviously it'd be a lot more enjoyable experience. I don't have to worry about you dying, which I thought you were. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I mean, you know, good luck in your boxing career, and uh, I will be watching Dad uh, to your to your next fight. Um, I don't know about the WWE future, though. I gotta say, probably not the best protocol in terms of handling beef. Thank you. Could he right. possibly be doing all this to to get on the Keemstar card or something? <laughs> that just, I just thought of that. I don't know. Is he that uh, that? Well, Keemstar would would hire him anyway. He doesn't need to do anything. Keemstar is desperate as shit. Probably on the phone with him right now. What's that? He's probably on the phone with him right now. Probably Kim's called, called his ass <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, Kim called him already. He's so like, hey true. man, I was just watching the show. Fuck no, I mean, go guy. with Keemstar. Shit, I don't know. I mean, if he does something good for your career, good. Keemstar, his promotion company has that one guy I love, Salt, uh, Salt, Salt Poppy. Poppy. Yeah. I love that guy, man. He's awesome. And yeah, he's signed with Keemstar's promotion company for some fucking reason. Wow. But That's surprising. It is. It's very surprising, but uh, okay. If he could do something for you, then God bless. Obviously, I can't do anything for you. Don't harass Dad. Leave Dad alone. We're all just going to look forward to his next fight and uh, wish him all the best. Mm -hmm. This is my obligation to respond. Yeah. Out. Wish you the best. I, I, I still love Dad, and as David Dobrik, <laughs> it's the only one said about David Dobrik, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. That sounds fucking cr I love that. <laughs> Do I sound like him? Close. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bring the chat back. Okay. You guys are off timeout. Now... After talking about that, now let's go laugh on uh, Steven Crowder's uh, crumbling speaking life. Of, speaking of dads. Yeah, speaking of single fucking divorced loser ass dads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, man. Be free. Be free, people free. in the chat. Freedom. Freedom. I turned it on. It's not. Maybe I have to refresh before it'll show up again. Yeah, they're back. They're um, back. They're back. I just want to say one last thing. Mm -hmm. I go to the bathroom. I guess it's okay to be a sore loser now, but I did not feel a single hit of his until I sat down. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Well, listen, you got not not I, to say that either one of you was hitting hard or not. I'm just you were saying, both hitting pretty hard. No, he got me with something because it took me out. Yeah. He won. But I mean, it's but adrenaline. It is, that is such a okay. You you guys are all hyped up on adrenaline. You probably don't feel anything, you know? Yeah. There it is. Welcome there back, is. everybody. All right, so let's talk about. Oh, there's a few things at the top of the show here that are fun, and then I want to talk about Crowder's loser, dumbass, loser, idiot. <laughs> His video about this is so so good. Yeah. This man is straight up. The only reason I got divorced is because the state of Texas allows women to leave their husbands. Yeah! That's a pretty crazy thing to say. Actually, maybe let's just watch it, and then I'll do top of the show stuff after. So um, like it sounds like a copy pasta. I so want you to watch this one video. Okay, fine. What do you got? I'll watch whatever you want. What do you got? Well, there's actually a few because the the new PMP video. Let's watch PMP. Let's celebrate him. This is like one of my all-time favorites. Also, uh, he put out a few uh, new videos. I noticed the uh, the drink whiskey like a pro. I was about to say that it's that prime like old H three content. Mm. So I've seen that video so many times, and I try to always try to always think about what to do with that con with that video, and I never. Oh, so you're familiar. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. I, I, I was trying to always work out how to use it, but I never really found a way. We'll watch it. So here's our boy PMP back at it again. 
out of court with my client. We absolutely crushed his case. Look, this was a second time DUI. Yeah, he was leaving the Rufus Du Soul concert at the Hollywood Bowl, had some drinks, had a dirty dog, a delicious glizzy, and... <laughs> this man is so happy. I want to say, Let's go. David is such a good guy, though. I, I, he has helped out our nanny so much. I don't know how, how much have I said this on the show. I don't remember. You've mentioned it. Uh, you mentioned it last week. I, I turned to David because there was nobody else. And he fucking went to town and resolved this for her. It was incredible. Let's go. King. This man, he, he's, he's so dedicated to doing the good job for his clients that he's willing to do anything. You know what I'm saying? No. Use your imagination. Cares about his clients. <laughs> Got it. Just put it that way and leave it there. Uh, <laughs> allegedly, he got behind the wheel and crashed into another car with an angry person in it who called the police. I love that. She's angry. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why they were angry. <laughs> with an angry person. Oh, in a bunch of losers the in the car who were pissed that they got rear ended by a drunk driver. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, fucking David. He's a real advocate. I mean, that's mm -hmm. his job. This that man is, is an doing advocate, his job. boy. He's yeah. An ally. And uh, allegedly, he got behind the wheel and crashed into another car with an angry person in it. <laughs> idiot. Called the police. Angry idiot. Now, it was at issue whether or not he was really the driver, right. or if it was his girlfriend driving. Mm -hmm. The police never even asked him if he drove his own car. This he's so slick, David. He always finds the angle. He's like, did you ask who was driving the car? <laughs> right. They're like, well, you were in the seat. No, 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 no. We're on the police port. Please report. Does it say I was driving the car? And that shit works, apparently, in court. And he was just standing there talking to the police, doing the field sobriety test. Never even asked him. And the other driver, his statement... You know his ass was driving that car. That's the best part. Like, it's <laughs> obvious. We all know that his we ass We don't was... know that for sure. Oh, he does. was driving that car. We don't know that for sure. There's a reasonable angry. doubt. This man reasonable. was driving that car. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't ask. They, they didn't, didn't ask. ask. They didn't ask. Well, why the fuck would he be out doing a field sobriety test and, like, you know, I mean, if he wasn't driving? Right, but they didn't ask. They didn't ask. That's the point. I just think it's funny. It was, was kind of iffy, too. So the prosecutors really gave us a hard time on this case. They wrote a three-page internal memo on this case and ultimately sided with us. And now he's going to only get a reckless driving, all right? The DUI charges dismissed. Let's go. Let's go. Only getting a reckless driving, right. one year of probation instead of three years, instead of five years that they wanted him to have because it was a second time DUI, mm -hmm. 0.23 BAC, very high blood alcohol content <laughs> with collision. At the end of the day, they couldn't really, really prove it 100%. It was too risky if they went to trial. They probably, you know, they could have... Yeah, it's a roll of the dice. So that's, why we're <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's the best part. That I, is the best part. They both are like, mm. if they went to trial, well, mm, yeah, <laughs> wouldn't be good for you. Right, right, right. This man was driving that car, boy, <laughs> and he was drunk as hell too. P and P is made of magic. How you feel? He, he's that's just so crazy. You know, he's special. He doesn't. There's no judgment. He's just there to be your advocate, mm -hmm. and we love that for him. And I feel so much safer knowing that this guy's back on the road. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Right where he belongs, baby. I feel, uh, I feel great. Uh, all I, I have to say, guys, David is the man. He, he is. He literally worked your case with Andy. He's, He's right. Most outspoken and straightforward kind of guy. Mm -hmm. You really want to contact him and get, you know, get him on your side. Trust me. That's right. You will not regret it. All right. Let's go. I'm always... That's a powerful let's go at the end of that one. He was proud of that one. He gets another one. Uh, I always wonder, how does, how does a dude like this find David? You know what I mean? How does it happen? Us. Word of mouth? Referral codes <laughs> We gave him three. a following. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna you think this guy's a fan? I mean, because he, he was letting uh, Gotham's Finest out even before we talked about him. <laughs> Gotham's Finest. There's another new one here. There's a few new ones, actually. 
All right, I'm right outside of court with my great client here. Uh, look, this was not an easy one. The police pulled her over for speeding on the freeway. They got her going 88 on the Quite freeway. Fast. Uh, they smelled alcohol. <laughs> she did a breathalyzer test, came back 0.12% blood. I'm not familiar with the blood Isn't alcohol Isn't it 0 0.08? 0 0.08 is is the legal limit at least in California. So 1.2 is uh uh 50 percent over the limit. So it's probably not like super drunk. That's like it's a not like drinks. It's not good. Though. But it's but, but yeah. I mean, if you're driving 80, you're like, <laughs> 88. Yeah, you're 88. No, 88. By like half. It's like crazy. 88 is, is fast. You don't want to be drunk yeah. at that speed. Yeah. But that last homie was at 0.24. That sounds very drunk. That's. That's hammered. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah. Well, he crashed into a parked car, so... We don't know if it was him. We don't know. We that... don't know. True. It was the ghost. There's reasonable doubt there. Is it I know. Or the ghost? I know. know. No, we don't know. I have a theory that David's only had one innocent client because he had one video where he said multiple times, like, this guy... Now, this guy's innocent <laughs> right. as so fuck. I remember <laughs> that. Look, you guys don't understand. He's innocent as he's fuck. He's never done that before. Yeah, he's never mm -hmm. said that. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Too much wine, sorry. Mm-hmm. Call content, uh, you know, and she is on her way to become a nurse. This case could have been extremely damaging to her career, but I'm proud to, proud to announce <laughs> that after working really hard on this case, <coughs> we finally got a reckless driving. DUI <coughs> dismissed, reckless driving, one year of probation, and then we can expunge it off her record. How are you feeling? Great, thank you so much. All right, you're you happy that you can uh, go to nursing school? Yes. <laughs> and finish my dream. <laughs> All right, let's go. And just remember, David puts this camera on in their face and doesn't, because he wants to get them candid, right? He doesn't want to give them a chance to say no. <clears throat> Love that. He's the man, dude. Nobody liked David in this whole planet. Let's go. Oh, this one hit pretty hard. Right, I don't know right if we saw this one. I think we did actually. All right, we're right I recognize that guy. Uh, we're on a third time DUI case. Dude, dude, third? <laughs> third Three times, time. bro? Why are you uh, smiling that big? Yeah. They got me again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Three times, dude? Here we go again. Fourth, he had one more than 10 years prior. Uh, we were here on a motion for military <laughs> diversion. Uh, he served in the military. He suffered a lot. He was in a firefight, saw his captain die. Oh, okay. He even exploded from an improvised wow, explosive device. Wow, you exploded, bro? A... <laughs> All right. The way right. he's just nodding. <laughs> what does that mean? Yep. He's like, yup. Right, right. All right, we're right. This man's All like, right, he saw right his captain die. Court. He's like, yup. All right, we're right outside of court. <laughs> uh, we're on a third time DUI case. All God right. damn it! It's Doc. Right, we're right outside of court. I want to zoom All in. Right, I'm right outside of Van Nuys Court. All right, Here. we're right outside of court. Uh, we're on a third time DUI. All, <laughs> All right, we're right outside I of court. I lose uh, we're on my a mind. Third time DUI. <laughs> All right, I'm right outside of court. God, please. <laughs> All right, we're right outside of court. It's not my uh, We're on a third time <laughs> DUI case. Technically, his fourth. He had one more than 10 years prior. His fourth. Uh, he shook his hand. He, he went like. For military <laughs> diversion. Uh, He's been nodding he up and down, but on that one, he, he hit it suffered with a, a lot. He was in a firefight, saw his captain die. There's sadness behind he those eyes. Yeah. yeah. From an improvised the nod is getting slower. He oh, laughed at the exploding the imp on the e the and uh, <laughs> the explosion. The prosecutor tickled him. Fought us thought that he wouldn't be eligible <laughs> for treatment and that treatment would do nothing for him. Oh, that's well, fucked up. Today we won and we got our motion granted. So after two years, the case is going to be dismissed off his record. And I'll note that we even beat oh. his DMV hearing. Yeah. Which never happened. <laughs> they like got that. an expert yeah. witness to try to reverse extrapolate. I just imagine him making all those sounds. This is and happening he has in PMP's oh. ear. Let's go get a drink to celebrate. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for your service. Next thank you for your on service. Me. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. He's the man, dude. Fucking legend. What does it mean that he exploded? It sounds like he, he stepped on a landmine. He got hit by an IED, most yeah. likely, is what that means. Like, was in a yeah. It was in a truck or something. He like thought that. I mean, he smiled at that moment. <laughs> He's just happy he survived. Right. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's a whole Pete Davidson drama. Uh, I'll have you know, uh, Olivia. Uh, he got apparently p 
push some old guy, but it seems like he was in the right, if you ask me. This guy was harassing him, I guess. This guy was, like, following him all night, all up in his shit, touching him, putting his head on his shoulder. Like, dude, what is your deal? Look at this. And you can see him getting annoyed. You could tell right like there. Like, all night, this guy was following him. <laughs> Let me get that again. I mean, it was not like the hardest push. He was just like, get the fuck away from me, dude. I know that he was ignoring him, which is he was respectful and then he snapped. He did, I mean, he shouldn't have been touching him in the first place. He didn't warn him before he hit him with a push, though. He could have said, dude, get the fuck. Yeah, he, he may like, have. He, he may have already. He may have. Yeah, he may have whispered it or something. Because, again, uh, what I read was this guy was harassing him all. Yeah, if there's more uh, prior to this, too, then <gasps> it's more understandable for him to kind of snap yeah. at him like that. I think it's fine. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Yeah. Me push too. more yeah, creepy it's a learning thing. experience. <laughs> he didn't push him, like, to hurt him. Right. Because he yeah, could have yeah, yeah, followed dude. through and sent him to the floor. It was really just a, like, dude, stop fucking touching me. And the dude's not even, like, trying to take a picture with him. He's just trying to be in the photos and be in... He's a weird... Yeah. He's yeah. doing just, weird like, stuff. Against yeah, him. so, okay. We are absolving, acquitting... For sure. That's my boy. Peter Davidson. <laughs> Peter Davidson. We he's love all. Peter Davidson. Keep pushing old creeps, Pete. Here's another David Dobrik clip of him uh, pretending to blind someone. No. Yep. <sighs> Another one? Yep. Another one. one. Well, I guess you could, you could, you could maybe debate if that was his intention or not, but I'll show it to you. You tell me what you think. It's pepper spray gag. Spray, this is in case anybody comes. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Perfectly. What is that? This is water. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, pepper spray someone in the eyes. <laughs> At least it was water. I think, well, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that'd be pretty wild. That David Dobrik, man, he is such a prankster, boy. <laughs> he is such a prankster. Funny stuff. That's like an old Bozo the Clown gag with the squirting flower. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> gotcha. Wow. What? What's next? The electrocuting handshake? Waka waka. <laughs> Um, woo, 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 woo. Also, Elon's alt got leaked, which is kind of interesting. Maybe. I, but, you gay? but he was logged in in the picture he posted. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess, let's just give this disclaimer. There's no way to 100% prove it. Now, given all of the circumstances, I think that this is his alt. You proved it. But I can't say well, definitively. It's pretty it's compelling. So it, here's the picture where he, here he posted this photo. It's a little fuzzy, but he posted a picture of his Twitter profile. He was showing off how many people were subbed to him on their it, like new like Patreon <laughs> membership thing that they have on Twitter. And by the way, there's twenty five thousand fucking suckers paying a billionaire, one of the richest people in the world, five dollars a month. For for his epic memes. For doing what exactly? He posts like, epic, sucker. epic memes. Golly, yeah. So, but there's a picture here of another account he's logged into, and it's a picture of him as a baby that isn't really you can't find anywhere else on the internet. Not him as a baby, his son. Oh, it's his son. Yes, which you can't find on the internet elsewhere. That is what leads me to think it is him. Like, because everything else about this could have been somebody, because, you know, you can change your, if you're not verified, or I guess that doesn't exist anymore, but if you don't have Twitter blue, you can change your handle and stuff. So people are like, well, somebody might have seen it and quickly just use the same photo, change their profile picture to that, change their name, and make it seem like this is the account. Um, however, a lot of people tried to find that image on like reverse image search services and it seemingly was nowhere online. So it seemed to be a personal photo of his son that only Elon had, which that's what makes me think it's real. But again, you can't a hundred percent say. I had a weird whiff of something. Is that from the AC? 
I think they just turned on the heater. Oh, oh, okay, that explains it. Um, Come with that heat. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's not like incriminating, it's just downright weird. Very weird. This dude said, bro had a net worth of 16 billion and risked it all for this. The grippy must have been unfathom unfathomable. Elon uh, Alt, and when I say Elon Alt, it's alleged. Alleged Alt. alt. I heart librarians. Okay. A little weird. Why'd you make an alt for that? Satoshi had the idea right. Uh, that's the fabled creator of Bitcoin. Bitcoin. He said, do you like Japanese girls? It's just strange. Hey? It's a weird thing to throw out there. I don't very know. bizarre. Very bizarre. And did you write that from your son's avatar? Okay, it's a little fucking weird. It feels like we're in a nightclub and the lights just turned on. What nightclub were you at? Elon asked. I wish I was old enough to go to nightclubs. They sound so fun. That's where it starts to get real weird. Because he's like role-playing as his own two-year-old son. <laughs> uh... There's more. Let's see. Uh, Elon is responding to his own tweets now. Posted a picture of this Sam dude who defrauded a bunch of people with the FTX. The FTX guy, yeah. With the title, it's on Pornhub. It says, man fucks five million people at once. And then his alt said, is this a real peon video? Like porn? It's supposed to be like as if a kid typed porn. Is, yeah, is it like baby talk? Is he doing the baby talk po thing? Porn? Yeah, because you know that that's like a thing with like some alt right people. We talked about it on leftovers. Wait, one. they talk like where they like do like the weird baby talk thing. Wait, what? My friends, where are my friends at, and like no, they don't. Yeah, dude, we talked we talked dude, about dude, it a couple. I remember, months ago. but like you got to show me a video. Talk to me, baby. I don't believe. No, it. they ride it usually. And and what's the purpose of sounding like a child, or not even a child, like a baby? I I don't know. I, I don't have the answer on that. Because they want to seem like they're not the pedos? Baby wants. If we sound like kids, creepy kids, they won't think we're the pedos. Man, nothing hit like that. Coke zero, dude. Sure. Nothing in this world. <laughs> Pretty weird stuff, huh? Continuing on. It was weird. Pretty cringy. Uh, I will finally turn three on May 4th, which is his son's birthday. I don't know. Right, so he's like talking as his son. Is this a real porn? Porn video? <laughs> right. Is this a real porn? Love, Love just said careful sc uh, scrolling Twitter. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. Right. Damn. Yeah, so... I don't know if this is where it started, but I just was Googling around, and yeah, I remember hearing about this. There was a subreddit called Friend World, and like, they would all talk, hello friend, like, and they talk hello. about their attendees, and like, it's just, I don't know. That's that, what's it called, go, go for the, the word? Right, the right word. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's right, overlap with that community for sure. Yeah. That is really fucking weird, you guys. Super weird. Because they call themselves that. The people with... Gripers. That do that kind of shit. Yeah. That's pretty... Uh, I don't know how that... That's, that's... How do you get people in on that? Come join our Reddit... Griper th forum where we talk to each other like babies. Grown-ass men. <laughs> weird, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on, we're almost to the Crowder thing. There's a couple more things. Uh, this was a really good suggestion from the subreddit. How to go back in time and prevent the Bill Burr episode, or really to uh, prevent any tragedy. Right. Even to go back and prevent Adam and Eve from eating the apple. How Ethan should spend the 620K. Rewind time. I think this is genius. I don't know why we... I don't know why we didn't... Uh... Think of this. So that's 20 buttons. So what if we go 20 buttons back, we can erase it all. If we just need more buttons. I'm assuming thousands of buttons. It's like an exponential thing. Like Oh, you think so? It would wow. have to be because 
we have like what like a 20 second delay or whatever so if you just added all the 20 second delays that wouldn't that would just be a few minutes but if you multiplied it by 20 every time all of a sudden we're in business so yeah, yeah. we we can go all the way back mm -hmm. we can button ourselves out of existence mm -hmm. benjamin button <laughs> there it is <laughs> so thank you for the suggestion we're considering <laughs> buying more yeah yeah they're only 20 grand a pop so Four to the end. This was the video you guys wanted me to watch, yeah. I've watched this video so many times, trying to figure out how can I make a H3 video about it. And I never really was able to figure out the right approach, but it is a great video, I'll watch to it. The glass. It's an oldie. Swirl it around, as I said to you before, throw it out. Because you want to get rid of any odors that are perhaps on the lip of the glass. Swirl it around, bring it up and say, hello. Then you go back to it. How are you? And then go back to it quite well. Yo, this man is smelling straight whiskey like it's wine. I That's love it. That's gotta be gnarly. I love it. That You know that doesn't smell good. Thank you very much. Now remember, get into it. Don't go like this. None of this stuff. You want to get right into it to make sure that you're Chill. actually examining <laughs> every part of that whiskey. <laughs> How do you taste it? Don't knock it back like a cowboy. Take the water, but don't just pick up a jug like this. What you need to do is to pick up a jug with your finger in the water. Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. He explains don't why. Finger in the water? Give, give him time. There's a method to it. the madness. Why do you want to test it? Because many barmen, unfortunately, stick their jug under a hot tap by mistake, and therefore, this is what ruins whiskey. Six times I've now ruined my whiskey. Six times. Twice in America, once in France, once in Stockholm, and twice in England. Hey. So <laughs> you take the still water, you put it into the whiskey, reduce it down to 35% alcohol. 35% alcohol is the ideal strength for really bringing out the whiskey in the palate. Put it in the mouth. This man is an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. with, with class. Uh, the classy alcohol. The classy this, this, alcohol. This man is dead for sure. Also, I'm pretty sure he sounds like he's got a Scottish accent, right? Yeah, I hear that a little so, bit like that. Yeah, so, oh, I mean, it might be fits fake. the bill. Yeah. They can fake handle accents. their whisk. Yeah. Scotch. And right, then Scotch in the case. Absolutely fantastic. If, in fact, I hadn't added sufficient water, what would happen? This is what would happen. <laughs> Your face would start grimacing. It would start changing because it was affecting the taste buds and anesthetizing them. So I all saw you that. need I saw is that, a little that is water. What gave us. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I have a presentation, finish at night, want to relax, go into the bar, there's nothing more wonderful than the sound of whiskey being poured by the barman into a glass. And just when I'm about to take the glass from him to enjoy my whiskey, this man has just built this whole world around just justifying him being an alcoholic. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, dude. There's, it's like a dude with a heroin needle being like, and there's nothing better than the sound of the needle filling up. <laughs> I click it. You gotta, you gotta give it a little squirt. <laughs> oh yeah, make sure there's no air in it. The flick. I like to add a little bit of water to my heroin, <laughs> just for the taste. And down, down it goes. <laughs> and down it goes. Oh, yes. And it's all about that, not about the part that I'm actually just doing heroin. <laughs> I'm probably insulting uh, hobbyist drinkers. Uh, I, you're valid. Your hobby is valid, but. You spent a whole career out of it. You are an alcoholic. I respect it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Suddenly, I hear this other noise. This other noise. Mm -hmm. One or two bits of ice, but many bits. This is now scotch on the rocks. This is taking my whiskey, ruining it with all this ice. Mm. In the olden days, when there was no ice, the Scots had to improvise. So what did they do? They went to the riverbeds. They took the cold rocks that had been chilled by the mountain oh. snows. They put that into the whiskey, and that chilled it. And that's why we call it scotch on the rocks. All I'm saying to you is this. That cannot be why they call it Scotch on the Rocks. That actually makes sense. Really? But, well, ice is like rocks. The, the name itself, does it makes sense already. Uh, I guess that's true. 
But Ask I have Chat heard GPT. about using cold uh, stones to uh, to cool your alcohol. I've I've got a ro rocks in my alcohol. Yeah. yeah. You put rocks in your alcohol? It's like round rocks. Yeah. Like big boys. Yeah. Big boy. On the rocks is. What is the origin of that phrase <laughs> for cocktails? GP's up. On the rocks is a phrase used in bartending to describe. I know! It traced back to mid 20th century when ice became more readily available. The phrase likely stems from the visual similarity between ice cubes and rocks. It's wrong. The robot's wrong. What does it know about that? It alcohol? continues. Before modern refrigeration were widespread, ice was a luxury. Oh, so they go on. Uh, I think, you know, okay. I, Chat BTC agrees with me. Everybody's saying they own whiskey, or like, yeah. Really? I own whiskey stones. Whiskey stones? GP's up. I never I heard that. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen those before. Okay. Great. Love yeah, that. and it makes sense, because it doesn't melt like ice, so it doesn't water down the alcohol, but it's still... Keeps it cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes and it's sense. Reusable. Makes sense. And it's reusable. If you're ever in a bar and you want to try and enjoy your whiskey this way, don't take it. Take hold of the barman and show him what it's all about. Yeah, chuck it away. <laughs> you don't need it. Man, that dude set up a second camera for that. <laughs> I love the dramatic player there. This this boat, awesome. He's like, get that second Wait, camera ready. Don't take it. Take hold of the barman and show him what it's all about. Yeah, chuck it away. <laughs> Can you imagine going into a bar? It's like too much ice. <laughs> and then Whoa. I would, I mean, yeah, I'd like to drink with him. That's pretty dope. <laughs> but I feel like every sip you take, you'd be like, you're doing it wrong. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to do it right. So. All right, let's talk about Cro the un poor, unfortunate, loser, <laughs> idiot, Steven Crowder. Now, we're, we're probably, the answer to his question of why did my wife leave me is in... His in the video itself, right? Which is interesting. Um, here's My the wife clip went for yogurt <laughs> without me, and then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. Here's the clip of Crowder, who cannot stop talking about family values and the importance of uh, family. family staying together, and talking about how black families uh, are. The way they are, like, I don't know, that one single parent families uh, is ruining black families and all kinds of crazy shit. This man has dedicated his whole fucking life to this image of him being a good Christian heterosexual man. And just like all the other ones, they cannot stay married. How many times do these guys get married, man? Like, they all get married like 10 times, bro. They're the most, either they're just like, they must just be intolerable. I mean, they must just be horrible. I mean, that's really what it comes down to, right? I mean, yeah. Or, well, in this case, I mean, he's gay, so that must have been awkward for Bye. To be fair to him. Oh, he said he's bi. Right. Which, again, is great. Gay. <laughs> Bye. I have been living with a proverbial boot on my neck for going on years now. Uh, so this is important as we look back at receipts. This has been going on for years. Mm -hmm. Since 2021, I've been living through what has increasingly been a horrendous divorce. Now, let me say on the outset, to be clear, there is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side, and no... This was not uh, my choice. Do you find it interesting that he had to say that? Like, he's like, and just because I know everybody's wondering. No, I think that very much makes sense. Because again, he <coughs> has cultivated this image that like divorce is uh, terrible and weak part of losers. Yeah. And, and as you'll see, he holds the belief that, um, no fault divorces, which is when you can get divorced. You 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 don't need to agree to be divorced. And like one party can divorce the other without the consent. Um, he thinks that that is a bad thing, which is really interesting. And yeah, I mean, it's really made the reaction to all of this from uh, 
his supporters has made me realize uh, a lot of Republicans feel that way, which is... Is that right? So his, yeah. his audience are like, damn. Okay, well, let's watch the video. We yeah. haven't gotten into it yet. Any kind of physical abuse at all on either side. And no, this was not uh, my choice. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. Yeah, dude, you fucking suck. <laughs> Who's surprised, man? You suck. You're a douche. You're an asshole. You're hateful. You're a bigot. And you probably think about dudes when they, you have sex with her. And so you go soft when you have sex with your wife. You can't perform for her because you're not attracted to women, which is cool. But you are also homophobic, which is what's ironic about that. Uh, I suspect uh, if I can theorize. There was friction in the bedroom. He's totally, he's totally, um, how do you call it when you can't get it up? Gay. Im no. no. <laughs> Im impotent, I think is Imp the word. He's totally impotent. Yeah. He's totally impotent. This man, <laughs> he, he cannot get hard. And <laughs> she starts to be like, is it me? And he goes, no, baby, no. It's just uh, I'm under a lot of stress with work and, you know, all this. But after year after year, he can't get it up. And she starts to feel, is it me? Am I ugly? Does he not love me? Is he cheating on me? It's, it, she keeps thinking, is it me? Is it me? Is it me? Is it me? No, baby, it's work. Also, so it's you, me. also, besides that, you expect her to be at home and do all this housework and take care of your fucking, he has twins, right? And she's probably like, oh. bitch, I would like to go out and do something. Can you watch the kids? He's like, no, that's women's shit. Also, by the way, the laws say you can't ever leave me. Oh, wait, they, they say you can? He's right. <laughs> He's right about that. <laughs> she should be forced to stay. Yeah. <laughs> that, so we're getting to that. We're getting to that. I'm having too much fun with this already. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. Right. It's been the most heartbreaking experience. Woke? So, sorry. Woke-ass Texas. Uh, hold on. This was not uh, my choice. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. First of all, yeah, so woke-ass liberal shithole Texas has these insane lib laws that says your wife can leave you if she wants to. That's so crazy that he thinks that she's ju he's just, like, entitled to her. That's what I wonder, like, what is the alternative that she's forced to stay with you forever? Like, yeah. what? That's what they think. I, I was reading up um, on, like, the conservative subreddits, the reaction to this, because, you know, the vast majority of the Internet is just making fun of him for this, which is yeah. good. But I was curious what, like, his fans thought. And, yeah, the, what I saw consistently is... Um, you know, marriage is a contract. She signed the contract. You shouldn't be able to just back oh. out of a contract. No, it's, it, this is unironically it's like BBTV. Okay. It's like the BBTV argument. <laughs> you signed the contract, buddy. Right. Yeah, but she's a human being. You want her to be in a... You want to imprison her with you when she doesn't even like That's you? That's what I don't get. Like, she hates you. You want to keep her around? That, exactly. Literally. It's like, why do you want to be with somebody that has no interest in being with you? You want to hang because out? it's going to be too hard for him to find someone else who will do it. I guess. Because it's I mean, embarrassing. He probably yeah. just... He's like, just go have sex with other people. Just don't break up. It's embarrassing. Um. No, but, like, why does he say that, like... Where is that a thing in the United States? Um, well, I'm not sure what all the specifics of marriage laws in every state, but I mean, that, that, GBT. that, that used to be um, like no fault divorce is a relatively recent thing. Because back in, back in the good old days when, when men ran everything, um, yeah, but, it, was, it was a lot harder to get divorced. But you could just like... I, I've never heard of people being forced to stay in a marriage. Like, well, I mean, I, I, I think they would just make up any excuse, probably like emotional abuse or uh, whatever. You just say anything, right? Or like in a uh, lack of, I don't know. I don't know. What can you get divorced for? But uh, apparently there's some state less woke than Texas where if a, if you suspect that your wife is plotting to leave you, you can um, actually handcuff her to the radiator and have a priest come and do an exorcism until she agrees to stay with you. 
Uh, apparently, yeah, all 50 states in the United States have some form of no-fault divorce law. <laughs> I'd like However, a... the specific requirements and processes <clears throat> for obtaining a no-fault divorce may vary from state to state. So, there you go. I like how he's just, like, blaming the whole state of Texas for being too woke. Yeah. Yeah, th this part really caught me off guard. It's been the most heartbreaking experience of my life. What I consider to be... Where in the world is the woman a captive to the man outside of, like, ISIS and, like, super conservative, maybe like Pakistan or some shit like that. His dreams. And his dreams. Like, this, 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 is, this is really disturbing stuff. This is the world that they want to build? This is very disturbing stuff. Um, and he's got a gun on his desk, too, which scares me a little bit. Talking about his ex-wife. You want to know something kind of crazy? Go ahead. Uh, so... The no-fault divorce laws became common in the U.S. starting in the late 60s. Uh, California was the first state to introduce one, so it is woke. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> uh, but then it says, uh, you know, over the years, the majority of states had some form of no-fault uh, no divorce legislation. The trend continued until all 50 states had it implemented, with New York being the last state to do so in 2010. That is interesting. Up to 2010. But I'm assuming there was ways to get out. It wasn't like you couldn't leave. Right. I think it just made the divorce easier. Yes, correct. This idea that, like... <sighs> uh, it, it's, it's genuinely psychotic. I mean, this man really wants to build, like, Gilead. Like, dude, you're a fucking loser, bro. <laughs> she left your ass, and the only reason you're sitting here is, like... I, the only reason she didn't stay is because I couldn't physically force her to stay by law. That's what a loser you are. You're so unappealing, disgusting, inside and out. And this woman has kids with you who I'm sure she loves and wants the best for them. And yet she knows that being separated from you because you're so vile is what's best for her and her kids. And that's who you are, Steven Crowder. You are just fucking rotten inside, bro. Vile, man. By you, the way, uh, Ronald Reagan was the one that uh, introduced that woke. law in California. So woke. maybe it's not woke. Or just Reagan is woke now? Dude. Uh, Reagan. <laughs> Reagan is woke now. Yeah. Today, well, he to decided. be fair, he is quite woke by today's standards. Which is nuts because he's a monster. He'd be like a mainstream Democrat. It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, Steven, Steven, I know he dreaded this. He wanted to avoid this just because he, he knew that it would make him look like such a hypocrite and such a loser. So fucking stupid, bro. Such a l idiot. My deepest personal failure, and just so you know, my opinions on parenting and families have not changed. Um, I've always believed that Children need a mom and a dad, that divorce is horrible. And I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible. Probably should have tried to be a better husband then, idiot loser, dumbass, small dick. Sorry, that's not a bad thing. Just get carried away sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Men with small dicks out there, we are brothers. We do what we, we, do what we can with what we got. You know what I mean? But in today's legal system, my beliefs don't matter. Again. What? Like, he, he keeps bringing up. Really harping on it, isn't he? That the, that the law, the state is against him because his wife can leave him by choice. I'm, I genuinely don't understand what's the alternative. He wants her to be forced to live there hating him, but she just has to stay there? Uh, like, what is, the, what is that life you want? I don't get it. Yeah, again, it's just like... Like, yeah, even if it was... Self-respect, man. Like, <laughs> I know. 
She doesn't want you, bro. <laughs> like, why do you want to be with this person that is not She's... wanting to be with She's you? She's just not into you anymore. Yeah. That's what I just don't get. Even if it was illegal for a woman to divorce or some shit, like, to what end? In Texas, divorce is permitted when one party wants it, period. Why do you keep saying that? You signed that contract to be a resident of Texas, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you, the fuck? You signed that mortgage. Sorry. You stuck. <laughs> stuck, brother. We should make a GoFundMe to change that. We should change that law. Change the law. We got a fix. For Steven Crowder. <laughs> we got a divorce wife. court. Let's do a uh, petition.org to force Steven Crowder's wife to go back yes. to him. Yeah. Share it. So for well over a year, uh, well over a year, in the best interest, as well as physical safety of my children, we've decided to keep this issue private and to resolve it uh, privately with the appropriate attorneys, what have you, legal jargon. And all this, one thing I want to be really clear about is certain. True North here is that my children are blameless. Again, that felt uh. that very weird. <laughs> like, of course they're blameless. Why would you even say that? Because when parents get divorced, you know, as I understand, a lot of times the kids blame themselves. Yeah, so maybe he's saying that for the sake of his kids. They're but two. His kid, yeah, his kids are They're like two, two young years to old. Even watch his show. Why would we tell them that? But why? What? Or I mean, like, but why would you even think that? These little fuckers ruined everything. <laughs> like, what are you saying? I just want to say the one thing that we all know to be true. Is that these little fuckers <laughs> did not cause a rift between me and my wife? Mm -hmm. My children. It was 100% because of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not their fault. It's just that they were born and then she realized how useless he is. Right. And probably a bad dad, too. And then he probably gets some, you know, some pathetic dads get, uh, they get jealous of the attention the kids get and they turn into little bitches. They go like, uh, yo, babe, you're not spending any time with me <laughs> since we had the kids. That's Steven. Oh, you think it was our fault, maybe? After, maybe we, we hurt his heart. You get, a, you get a heart problem since we I mean, Sam Cedar'd him. Yeah, I, I watched Sam's uh, reaction to this yesterday, and Sam did bring up the possibility, you know, he made it clear it wasn't intentional, but that... He did not mean to fuck up his whole life like this. Because <laughs> sure. that did happen just a few months before. <clears throat> right when the divorce was happening. The timeline adds up. That happened in... It, our episode with Crowder was in summer. It was in June of 2021. And six months later, Crowder was divorced. We need to get Crowder 20 buttons. Stat. Just saying. It was in June. Yo, that sent him Ow. spiraling. That's awesome. You know, but those kids would be better off without him. I'm sure of it. He is that fucking vile. Children are blameless. Completely without fault. Duh. And so we decided to resolve these issues privately, as it's in their best interests, uh, both emotionally and physically, to do so. Second now, mention the of the physical safety of his children. I don't yeah, understand right? that part I don't know either. what the fuck he's referring to with that. I think he... He's trying to build some kind of atmospheric. There's a theory that Candy Owens puts forth that I think has some credence. Credence? Is that the right word for that? Yeah. Please don't say that word. <laughs> <laughs> what? Credence Kleinwater? That uh, he, he's trying to put up this atmospheric, trying to get people to not probe into his marriage. And so he's trying to make people think, oh, you're going to put my children's safety. Because some, I, the theory is that something happened and he's scared for people to find out what did happen. Probably, you know, you know, the usual uh, motel, meth, and gay hooker, uh, prostitute kind of thing. We don't know that. Well, it's just, that's the regular. I'll have the regular. <laughs> that's... That speculate. That's the regular schmegula. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, yeah. You see that? That was epic. 
Yo, uh, there's there's that was Crowder's marriage. His <laughs> wife was like, I want a divorce, change my mind. They want, <laughs> they want to make that joke yet? Yeah, uh, there's been lot, a few, a but yeah. In fact, I think we have that meme. <laughs> there was one that said, uh, my wife wants to divorce me, change her mind. Yeah, like that. that's the one I got in there. They're all Damn good. It. I can't get enough. Yeah, so I, I don't know what the thing about like my kids' lives are in danger he's doing. It's weird. The issue is, and this is something that I've kept private for likely far too long, um, many other people knew about this behind the scenes. Some, not all, but some of them in positions of power, influence, leverage, knew of this. They also knew that the safety of my children included keeping it private. So if uh, again, if what are we what are we talking about? This man's living in like an episode of 24. Put the kids in the bunker. <laughs> the terrorists know we're getting divorced. I don't know what you're talking about. How could they be in danger? Familiar with the idea of extortion, then you know the feeling well. Uh, now some of now this is a big claim, right? He's saying he's been extorted with this information uh, that he's getting the divorce, which doesn't seem like enough information to extort someone on. I mean, you know, it's like okay, tell people I'm getting divorced. These threats were so thinly veiled that I'm frankly surprised. You didn't all guess immediately. Steven. Okay, so now, crash cut to Miss Candy Owens. Mm -hmm. my, An my queen. Another vile, vile, hateful, <laughs> nasty person. But and somehow comes out of this looking way more sane than Crowder. <laughs> Actually, I agree. Yeah, I thought her response to this, I was like nodding along with her the whole time. I think they're both, I think she is despicable. Yeah, no. It, like she, she is sucks. so gnarly, but the fact that now they're just fighting amongst each other. It's they're, awesome. And they're just, they're both just the worst. <laughs> and I love that they're fighting each other. You know, they say thick as thieves. Mm -hmm. And they're just scumbags and they, uh, they just got caught in each other's scumbaggery. Love it. And I, we saw this clip of Candy talking about the Crowder situation when he exposed Daily Wire for only offering him $50 million a year. Mm -hmm. Or was it $50 million over three years? $50 million over some period of time, I forget. Yes, that, that uh, meager, pathetic offer. Slave wages. Slave wages, I believe he called it. Yeah. Uh, she said this. He has a lot going on. I guess it's the best way to say it. He has a lot going on, and that should be clear because people don't do stuff like this if there's not a lot going on in their lives. I would like to implore my audience and everybody that isn't paying attention to this situation not to condemn him, but to pray for him. Sometimes people need a prayer. That did not Sometimes work, by the way. <laughs> Unlike most times, where praying is uh, very effective. And when he said... Uh... When he said that this was so thinly veiled, I'm surprised you all didn't guess it. Um, I remember when we watched that, uh, we did have a guess based off of that, and it wasn't that you were getting a divorce, dude. I didn't know. I didn't it seemed know like she was... Something worse. Well, I wouldn't say worseness. I, I thought she was going to out him. That's way worse. I mean, in their world, it's way worse. Yeah, that's yeah. way worse. Um, <clears throat> I agree. But I will say that Candy is a demon for this. Like putting this out there, like, hey, dude, I know you're getting divorced, and I'm gonna tell. I mean, she was kind of doing that, but it's not, you know. But this was in the midst of their whole crazy contract. I know, but she's, and everything. this I was know. demonic. I felt even for her to do this, but they're both scumbags. Yeah. People need a scripture. You know, Stephen purports to be a Christian. I am unsure at this moment if, if it is my place to say more than that it's definitely not <laughs> it's 100 percent not your place sure yeah <laughs> this man hasn't even talked about it publicly uh but you know what that's it that, that you know you started beef with literally the most psycho pieces of shit on the internet what did you expect crowder yeah yeah candace if you're thinking about telling us i mean candy you may as well just tell us girl you girl you know we're good we're yeah, best we'll like keep that the secret. we'll keep the secret <laughs> mm-hmm <laughs> You know, maybe if I feel in further defense, something should be said. Or maybe if I feel that the public has a right to understand certain circumstances, 
It, it's none of her business to bring that up. It's, it's so corny. But again, she's not extorting him. I mean, she's just being a little catty. She's just being Candy Owen. She's, she's a nasty scumbag. And what do you expect, Steven? Making that dumbass looking face. But now he's trying to turn... What's he doing here? He's turning this divorce announcement where he goes, my kids are in danger. I don't want to turn this into anything at all. He's pivoting into the, a, a chapter two of Daily Wire Beef, right. where Candace Owen apparently is extorting him, which is a crime. I find that interesting. Well, my children have a right to privacy. Now, some other uh, issues have been, uh, or I should say, uh, inferences have been more. Man, if only the leprechaun was there to back him up, I feel like this would be going smoother for him. Mm. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the leprechaun has a thing or two. To yeah, say so about the it. leprechaun, as we call him, Dave, so he got booted, or no, he left because he was getting a shitty deal. He did a full tell all, just spewing all the tea. Like he hates Steven, apparently, and has. And he went on a show. I mean, he was being somewhat diplomatic. Throughout it, he kept saying, you know, he likes Steven or whatever. But Dude, you he, can read between the lines. So he's like, fuck this guy. So we're going to do that one next. So this is like a whole Steven Crowder bonanza. Ela says no comment. No, no like she's, literally she just donated no $10. And, no, just and 10 bucks, Ela? <laughs> yeah. No comment? <laughs> More pernicious behind the scenes with demands and threats to use this information that they believe would be uh, so publicly embarrassing to me and my wife at a difficult time that it could be used knowingly putting my children in harm's way. So again, I don't what he's trying to say that Candy is trying to get his kids harmed. He seems to be implying that they knew about his divorce and when all of the beef was going on, he because he mentions behind the scenes. Mm. I I feel like the implication there is they said something to him behind the scenes that if you don't back off, we're going to expose your divorce. That's what I think the full... Well, she was kind of saying that, Candy. Yeah, but the extortion would have to come with some sort of thing not public. Like, the veiled threat or whatever is one thing, but for him to claim like they were extorting me with this information, there would have to be some sort of communication where it's like, if you don't shut the fuck up, I we're going like, to expose your divorce. I feel like that did not happen. I, feel like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, all these people suck so much. Who's to say? I think he. Well, at and any as rate, we'll see, Candy addresses that specifically, and she makes it sound like, of course, that didn't fucking happen. This is so. good shit, man. I'm yeah. telling you, I love it. Uh, Ela uh, came back. She said, "Olivia drank the sleigh tea today." I see. <laughs> oh, there oh my we God, go. That's the nicest thing I've ever heard from Ela. That means the world. And then she donated again and said, the first one, I did the boomer thing. Sorry. <laughs> That's what I, I imagine you. happened. Yeah. Thank you. Ella. Wow. So generous. My beautiful wife. Wow. Incredible. Isn't she the best, folks? Sure. My yeah. wife. Ah, it's so good to be married <laughs> to my wife. I can't wait to go see my wife later. Oh, I'm sorry, Stephen. Uh, I didn't mean to offend you. Uh, I was a little insensitive of me. Yeah, so, uh... Knock it over my wife! <laughs> I am married. Tim Pool, not married. Who's Alpha? Do the fucking math, you shitbags. You know what You know what the problem is, though? Mm -hmm. It's definitely not me. Nope, and that's what Steven said, too. It's not me. It's divorce court. It's the law. <laughs> <laughs> to those self-styled Christians, conservatives, and allies... Well, not in my book. Got him. Now, if you find yourself, I, I don't want to get into details, so this is going to likely be the only time I have to address this or want to address this. If you're asking yourself, hey, did X person or did Y person know? The answer is likely yes, which will be made alarmingly clear as this process of discovery continues. So is that a reference to a lawsuit? It's, yeah, I, I think that that is a, a threat of a lawsuit right there. 
it, it sounds almost like he's already filed it the way he said it, but I think Candy would have mentioned that. Yeah, we. I, I remember Crowder has a history of mentioning lawsuits that don't exist. Right. Remember, he was suing YouTube as well. And, right. uh, that, that didn't happen. Never happened. Yeah. There was no lawsuit. There was like a big announcement too. Remember, he made like a big to do <laughs> about it. Like, yeah, he's as like, of today, we are suing YouTube. And, and I think they he just... crowdfunded a bunch of money on it too. I think it's possible. But I, I'm pretty sure that I think I even asked someone at YouTube was like, "Hey, did this ever happen?" <laughs> or no? Our well, it's all public info. Yeah, we our, like searched our, for it. Our lawyers couldn't find anything. On yeah. Of it happening. Yeah. Uh, and it also, by the way, makes me that much more appreciative of those who did know about this and in understanding the best interests of my family, my children, kept their word and used discretion. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Sincerely, I appreciate it. Won't forget it. It was just her. I mean, just Candy. Who kind of didn't, she didn't even say it. She just kind of, you know. Again, uh, I, I, I didn't, my mind didn't go to divorce. No, nope with that video nope we all thought you were just gay dude <laughs> right <laughs> like everybody just thought that <laughs> <laughs> although one might lead to the other we'll see it's it's pretty simple um i loved a woman so much that i married her mm -hmm. a woman who despite all of this i still love as the mother of my children and she wanted something else for her life that's not my choice she simply wanted out and the law says that that's how it works. Again, Such do you bummer. not sound, do you not understand how psychotic you sound right now? <laughs> I really don't. My wife wanted out. And so who am I to force someone to stay in a relationship with me? No. The law in woke Texas says she can leave me. It's, it's, uh, it's unreal, in fact. Now, of course, look, I get it. There are multiple sides to every story, but one thing that is undeniable uh, in this case is that it's no one's fault but my own in that I picked wrong, and that... <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. No, maybe you just didn't treat her well enough. Yeah. I thought yeah. I was picking a woman who would <laughs> sit down and shut up and be in the kitchen and take care of the kids. Turns out I picked a fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what? You want a divorce? Well, did you check? Did you check the state law to see if that's even legal? <laughs> Wait, it is in all fifty states since nineteen seventy. Fuck. That's true. Yeah, I think if he's ever to get married again, he's going to need to start building some kind of dungeon underground or something to mm -hmm. restrain her in case divorce is ever brought up. Or possibly just moving to uh, ISIS. Uh, yeah, I was going to say Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia like could suit your needs. They, they don't have as many rights there, so that might, that might align with your beliefs. Where is ISIS these days? Uh, they are, um, they, yeah, I don't know. Al-Qaeda probably, a Taliban's probably down with that. Right. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Let's Google everywhere. some ISIS videos. <laughs> There's one right in front of me. His name's Steven Crowder. <laughs> What's the difference? I mean, Rumble. at the end of the day, it's just FOMO. Yeah. That's certainly not the fault of my children. I'm getting mad ISIS FOMO right now. ISIS is all about the FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I will say that what's in the best interest of my children um, is not internet drama, speculation, certainly not blatant or veiled shakedowns or dragging their father or mother. And I can't be clear on that enough. Or their mother through the mud. And I only have nice things to say about your wife. I don't know anything about her, but I know she make she. You know, she's making the right choice. She's she she good on that. this one. She she's good on, on the on right this. side of history at this <laughs> That's point. That's right. <laughs> That's right, girl. Dude, I hope she goes and starts dating like a hardcore lib. You know what I mean? Be awesome. Finds a new love. Someone who's willing to go down on her. You know, this, right. this new guy doesn't think vaginas are icky and gross. Oh. Exactly. I bet this her new boyfriend won't even make her put a bag over her head and mm -hmm. talk in a low voice. Right. They can get rid of the sheet with the hole. Sheet with the hole. Yeah, you don't need that. That's anymore. gonna make a big difference for her love life. By the way, here's Ela donating to uh, the podcast. This is basically what's happening here. So thank <laughs> you. Well, I love that. <laughs> yes, like girl, self love. <laughs> It's a three dollar donation to YouTube. I was gonna that's say you, there needs to be a third person there in between that's taking a little thirty percent tax. 
Although, wait, she's on an iPhone too. What does that mean? You're right. You know what I mean? Oh, because they take a cut as well, right? Right, right. <laughs> wait, that, do, you, ah, do iPhones even allow that? I think. I mean, they didn't for a while. I think it. I think you can donate from an iPhone now. I think they. Do you they, think they, they, they worked that it restriction. out? Anyone you know, who tries maybe? it. I, I'm looking into it. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. You're a member, right? Yeah. Oh, she's probably on the computer. You yeah. know. Yeah. Moving on. I'm no longer going to pacify, capitulate, or sidestep because I love them a whole lot more than I love you. And I will continue to do whatever is necessary to protect my children. Discussing a divorce any further on social media or on this show or in any public space is not what's best for them. Yeah, but so no, then, why, then why did you, in your video, levy this attack against Candy Owens, who is one of the most volatile people on the internet. Like, of course she's going to come back and cause a big drama. Mm -hmm. So, like, if that's true, then why did you do this with Candy? Friends with Candy? Remember that show? What? Strangers with oh, Candy. Oh, you're thinking Strangers. Strangers with Candy. That's one of my favorite shows of all time. Strangers with Candy. That's, that's me and her. I <laughs> hate this candy. Stop. We love, we love Strangers with Candy. You don't like candy, Ian? Ian? Why are you showing Zach? Go on, do something. Respond for me. <laughs> oh, you oh, oh, I don't see. know what you're talking about. He's <laughs> turning around on you. Go on, pick one. Uh, F tier, easy. Okay, right, there you go. <laughs> I, I donated. It worked fine. All right. And and okay, interesting. And did it charge you more than usual? No. It's, okay. So maybe they made an arrangement with them. Yeah, <laughs> must have. No, nah, Apple's just taking an extra cut. That's all that means. A secret cut. That's my guess. But then what the fuck? Then you get like two dollars. Yep. From a five dollar donation. Pretty sure that's how it works. Wow, that's crazy. That can't be true. That no, I, I'm almost certain that that's true. Apple, any <laughs> app that you downloaded through the Apple App Store, they get a cut. That's part of the. If you want your, if you want to be on their App Store, you gotta play by their rules. But I, but they, I do think it's a chance that Google negotiated something with them because it wasn't on the iPhone for a long time. And YouTube, Google has that clout, I feel like. I guess Google is probably one of the few that can, uh, because usually them. when you buy stuff from Apple, I've noticed it's more expensive to cover their I fee. Right. Yeah, maybe, maybe they did arrange something. That, it's just too depressing to think about otherwise. Okay. <laughs> if it makes you happy. It says the, uh, uh, however the fee doesn't apply to free apps. Usually 30% mm. for in-app purchases, but uh, free for... The fee doesn't apply for free apps. Oh. Interesting. That is That doesn't make any sense. Mm, no. Yeah, they don't. Because they did, did it for Cameo, oh, right? Man. They take 30% from Cameo shit. Right. Exactly. Yeah, so it's, and that's it's a free app. Same, but is Cameo a free... Yeah, Cameo yeah. is free. Yeah. I mean, but there's, there's really... Okay, whatever. I don't care. Let's watch this. Handling this through the proper legal avenues and channels available as a matter of record in which I have more than full confidence. So I'd ask that you understand the need for and uh, respect our privacy in uh, what is obviously a pretty tough time. And I hope that none of this has to go any further than that. Well, then why did you <laughs> fucking threaten Candace Owens, the psychoist person on the Internet, dummy? <laughs> like, it was so stupid. Just move on, dude. But okay, he wanted to go there. Ah, I feel terrible for him, man. He's yeah. going through so much. That's tough. Here's a more accurate uh, update to this image. So. <laughs> Keeps taking know. their little tax, the yeah. little tax gnomes. Yeah. Love that. All right, so moving on. Now, right after Stevie Boy drops this, he goes to Twitter and he posts... A video of, he says, this is the straightest thing I've seen all day. And he posts two, I think, gay dudes having a lovey-dovey moment. I think one is trans, actually. Okay. And so I guess uh, this is what's on his mind now that he's single. I don't know what the point was here. I don't Did get it. it. Does anybody have any thoughts on this? 
And he says, this is the straightest thing I've seen all day. Does that include when you looked in the mirror in the morning? Because <laughs> you gay, boy. That mean... Yeah, see, giving each other our, homo our hormones. I think they're both trans. Oh, okay. Giving each other our hormones. Okay. Okay, I see. I didn't know that. So they're trans. So, okay, great. They're bonding. They're happening. Uh, Steven just wants people to bully these... these uh, which is like, yeah, at least they're together. Look at how happy they are together. <laughs> more, yeah. more than anything you have, Steven. Yeah. That's why he's upset. Yeah. Exactly, 100%. Why? He's like, why didn't mine work? <laughs> but that works. Right. He's so stupid. Maybe because they're nice to each other. Right. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? Oh, I didn't see his reaction part. Play it. Is on the left. I'm serious. We're all supposed to just say, yeah, isn't that beautiful? What's beautiful about injecting your spouse with a hormone that's foreign to their body? What does it matter, Here. dude? You, you have a diabetes. Really you do that all the time. Yeah. Hey, what's beautiful about a single loser ass, divorced, <laughs> fucking bitch ass, closeted, freaking demon? What's, what's cute about that? Whatever's being injected, if they're a man and it's estrogen, cancer. It's bad. If they're a woman and it's testosterone, uh, who knows, possibly cancer. Definitely some right What are you, a doctor? Was, uh, correct yep. me if I'm wrong. There was a girl that became a guy and a guy that became a girl. I, was, I, I, I can't right. correct you because... They're very funny over there. I'm out of the I don't know. Yeah, nobody does. Funny guy. So right as uh, he's announced his divorce, and we all speculated it was because he was closeted, the, the blackmail... He goes straight to Twitter and be like, nope, I, t I pr no, dudes, I hate gay people. <laughs> Tra gay and trans people are icky and gross. Uh, are you uh, compens overcompensating much, uh, Stevie boy? Yeah, hey, so, uh, let's see, the divorce proceedings started in December 2021. Candace Owen uh, is responded to Steven, of course she would, right? I mean, how could she not? Familiar. And here it is. Um. With the idea of extortion, then you know the feeling well. Uh, now, some of these threats were so thinly veiled that I'm frankly surprised you didn't all guess immediately. Things should be said, or maybe if I feel that the public has a right to understand certain circumstances, Oh, my children have a right to privacy. He even sent me a retrospectively very flirty message thereafter on Instagram about how nice I looked on election night, even though I didn't respond to it. Drop those receipts, girl. Please, I'm obsessed let me see with the that. DM. Let I me need, know more. I need <laughs> those DMs <laughs> now. We got to get her in here. Tea time. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the funniest friend of the show ever to make. <laughs> Candace Owens. Yeah, I don't think Maybe so. we can win her over. Don't think that's happening. <laughs> maybe I could pay whatever Daily Wire's paying her. Maybe I can double it and give her a show over here. <sighs> yeah, right. New member of the crew, she's Candace probably, Owens. She's probably making like $10 million a year. <laughs> yeah, and nobody watches her show either. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford that, unfortunately. Crowder's Instagram account, and I looked to see, and it turned out that she didn't follow Steven Crowder and that Steven Crowder didn't follow her. He didn't follow anybody in her family, and she wasn't following any. So I'm sorry, that is me. I do that shit all the time. <laughs> sorry. Look for people's so she's making a she's making a valid point. She says, "Look, I didn't know you were divorced. You just you guys stopped following each other on Instagram. I mean, you know, what does that mean? It you know, means everything. Although she's she's probably lying. She knew. She was talking so confidently about it. That's how people learn that people break ups." They check, and then they're given an answer. There it is. Yeah. Well, the clues were out there, Stevie Boy, is the point, okay? You're not special. Nobody cares about your tasty, single-ass loser, idiot. Anybody in his family, that was my aha moment. Clearly, there was some sort of a separation. Now, I will not take that lightly, okay? I am not Hillary Crowder. I am not anybody in his family. I am not going to take somebody going onto his platform and alleging that I either harassed, threatened, or did anything that would put his children at risk. That is very serious stuff that he is saying. I mean, she's not wrong. This is what I, what I was saying. I was, like, nodding along with this clip. It's like, what? Like... She is not wrong yeah. at all. This man straight up implied that she wanted to hurt, I mean, in a way, hurt his kids? Like, right. like physically? 
Yeah, he, he was on emphasized some physical safety three times. And so what I did this morning after this clip was sent to me is I contacted a defamation lawyer and I am sending Let's Stephen go. Crowder a cease and desist. And I'm going to demand a full-throated retraction <laughs> to the idea that Candace Owens threatened him or extorted him. And that, it seems to me... Steve yeah, I mean, minus if he just has an email from her saying, if you don't do this, then this. There's no way she like actually extorted him. I don't think that right, what she said right. Even that. that you really, for whatever reason, want to insert me into this narrative. Like, you know what? And something about I feel like if he had that, he would have on. shared that. Oh, of course. Because he's already, we know that he records his phone calls, and we know that he's willing to leak private conversations. If you had that, why wouldn't you share that? He doesn't have it. Because now the information's out, so there's nothing to lose, right? Like, you are telling the world that you're getting divorced, so if you have evidence of somebody trying to blackmail you, they no longer have the leverage over you. Why not just share that? And we know that he would. So I, don't, I think it's bullshit. Yeah. It seems to me, Stephen, that you really, for whatever reason, want to insert me into this narrative. Like there is just something about me that you are hyper-focused on. And so I want to help you a bit. And really, I want to help your wife because you essentially just used your Next platform. Wife. Millions of people have access to your platform. She doesn't have the same. Uh, to insult her. I, you picked the wrong woman. Okay, girl, pop off, Candy. Why you know is saying? she based right now? <laughs> okay, girl. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Snapping for you, girl. Literally. Me we too. love her now. Love her now. Tomorrow we'll hate her, but tomorrow we'll hate her. We, we like her. We like her. Okay. So here's what I would like to do. I would like to invite Hillary Crowder onto my platform. Let's fucking go. Have one. <laughs> it's funny. It, it, Let me get my popcorn. She's obviously not going to take the opportunity, but it is a funny jab. I. Even. I hope she does. I really Dude, there's no does. way. Yeah, no, I don't think there is a way. But... That would be way too good to be true, man. <laughs> but it is very funny. Uh, she's really good at getting under people's skin. I mean, Daily yeah. Wire Daily Wire could be like, we'll pay for your divorce attorney. That's true. They have uh, crazy you come money. come on our show. <laughs> like, I'm sure they gladly do that. You know what? That's fire. <laughs> That's a good idea. He just used his to insult her to say that he picked the wrong woman. I find that to be really despicable. Good so, for you. Hillary Crowder, if you are watching, you are more than welcome to come on my show and to talk about what's actually going on. Love her for that. Please accept the invitation, please. But yeah, I mean, Candy's not wrong on this one. That was, she's right. I mean, there was no need for you to bring her up in your video. There really Candy. wasn't. Like, just, you know, this information came out. And so he felt the need to address it, I guess, on the show. Frankly, he could have just put out a statement or something that, you know, unfortunately, my wife and I are being divorced. It's not my choice, yada, yada. You know what I mean? But he decided to do it on video. And then, yeah, just like, like she said, just for some reason, rope her into the conversation. It's like, wasn't needed. But, and at the same time, being like, I don't want to talk about this. I just wanted to go away in the interest of my kids. And right. then you're doing something that's obviously going to provoke further drama. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's some donos I want to read. Midas Touch? Just as Midas Touch? Oh, AI music videos are getting insane. Search DSL, ready, set, go. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Jayati Dutt. Says, can I please get a shout out for my boyfriend Ben? We love Ben. Don't Benny. We, folks? I'm in your walls, Ben. It's me. Nick Clark says, much like Ethan stealing hairlines, David is stealing windows to the soul. Interesting. <laughs> Carolyn Williams, can I get a shout out for my 22nd birthday? Carolyn Williams, I'm 22. Fuck you. Fuck you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sorry, I just want to acknowledge everybody. Nick Clark, his liberal twin, Hassan Piker, dude. I've seen photoshops where they look pretty similar. I hate to say it, but... They look a little... I mean, obviously, Hassan's way more handsome. But because yeah. Crowder's... There's like, a little rock. bit of like a mirror universe thing going on there. Though, there was one of me as Tim Pool and Hassan. <laughs> that and was so funny. <laughs> uh... Uh, Jay, Jay Adi says, can I get a shout out for Ben Shak, Shaka, Shak, Shakti? Shakti. Shakti and Henry. 
Yes, you can. You sure can. Did I already do the shout out by reading it, or do I need to like ask? Uh, ben Shakti and Henry. Ben Shakti Henry. It's me. Ben Shakti Henry. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys. Sorry if I missed your donation. I've been captivated. Oh yeah, here. <laughs> I don't know if I showed this in. It is quite fucking disturbing, but take it for what it is. Bizarro universe. It's powerful. This is a powerful image. <laughs> it really is. It's like, it, it, it is quite unsettling, I will say. I hate to say, like, I feel like a different conservative grifter is a better fit for you. Like, I know you're, you know, you're known for the beanie, but if anybody, I'm the bald guy with the beanie. Like, I'm Tim Pool in this situation, right? I'll let you be Tim Pool. I don't want that tie. I don't want that comparison. I just, I wonder if there's another one out there that's a, a better, better one. Fit. Some some curly headed door. conservative uh, grifter that matches up with your your whole vibe. Mm. Jim Brewer. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, anyway, funny stuff. Moving on. There's a lot more to get to. Actually, there's all kinds of little wrinkles in here. Um, here's a bunch of memes of people dunking on Crowder. All of them just fantastic. Pent uh, P Pentagon, hexagon, octagon. My wife is gone. <laughs> <laughs> and again, his wife left him, right? Which is pathetic good. and sad. My wife went out for pizza without me. Even worse, man. She went for pizza and never came back. Uh, quartering. My wife is leaving me. Change her mind, please. I'm begging you. This man was out here arguing with college students while his wife was like. Out the door. She was like, I fucking can't stand this dude. I need a divorce. Oh no, people are saying you're oh no, I go ahead, you can there's say there's a it. consensus on who your mirror universe is. It's okay. Go ahead. It's Jeremy. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's not Jeremy. Everyone's saying quartering. There's a lot of quartering in the chat. That's that's I'm so sorry. I, I'm not happy about being Tim Pool. Like, I'd rather yeah. be Tim Pool than. But quarter. I'm just trying to be real about it, right? I would rather be Tim Pool than Quarter. <laughs> Anybody really? but Jeremy. Jeremy's a fucking. That man shits and pisses on the floor of his own house. I feel like his his heart on the inside, 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 inside. Softy. He's yeah. a softy. Quartering is a low IQ inbred loser. I need to believe that. <laughs> That's how I feel about him. <laughs> Say that again. That's the best sound. Look. I'm 40. I'm tired. I'm sweaty. I'm fat. I'm I do overweight. feel that. I the feel that. The quartering is a low IQ inbred loser. <laughs> that was Don't the title of one of our on um, highlights that I guess he had a problem with for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> listen, <Dumb. laughs> listen up, liberals. My wife left me. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's good. Um, here is, now, here is a clip of every time Crowder has dressed up in drag over the past two years when this divorce proceeding's been oh, happening. Let's see. Here he is, let's see. Uh, let's count the number of times. I just don't understand what's like, why, why it can't be a guy who prefers, uh, men over women and also not like to pay high taxes. Hey, I can be bisexual and also want lower taxes. I'm afraid of Mr. Hyde rearing his ugly bisexual head. That was, <laughs> one, that was a short phase. Uh... Whoa, milkers. Whoa. That's like a lot of times. Dude. Yeah, as this video went on, I... It's kind of shocking how many times it is. Which is like, it's fine. It can be... Fun to do. That's my We've done it on system. the show. You've dressed in drag on the yeah. show. It's not a problem. Not, but like this many times for someone who is yeah. expressly transphobic. Yes. Is a little bit. And like he is like way in character. He's method. He's method as fuck, bro. <laughs> I'd Look say at, this is the first time he's not in character. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a whole compilation of Steven in drag. My Everyone's saying, I see people saying he looks so happy there. He True, does. That's what I'm saying. He does. That was sincere happiness. <laughs> These quartering <laughs> highlight titles. 
I don't know why Jeremy has a problem with these highlight titles. The quartering one That's pooped one his favorites. pants. Two peas in his basement. Three has a crotch rot. You know What's you it? get that crotch rot. <laughs> And then this is the one that he uh, really hated. The quartering is a low IQ inbred loser. <laughs> quartering is a low IQ inbred loser. I don't see what's wrong with that. It's right on the, the nose. highlights channel is like a haven for haters. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh. We have so much drain. fun with those titles, though, don't we? <laughs> yeah. That's uh, right. That is fun. Oh my God! A oh, we have a Saudi out. fan who says, "Big fan, but the Saudi slander is always so unoriginal and inaccurate to the country's progress. Saudi women re religiously and legally have more rights." Just saying. Okay, sure. more progressive than uh, Crowder. Sure. I, I gotta say, I do get messages every time from Saudi fans like, "How dare you?" Like, I don't fucking know. I'm not in the Discord. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, I'm not. I'm not saying anything about our de our lovely Saudi uh, fans, and we do have some. I remember we had a caller from Saudi Arabia a while ago that was real interesting. But can women get a divorce in Saudi Arabia? Let's ask ChatGPT, who's more progressive. Okay, it says yes. Women in Saudi Arabia can get a divorce. However. The process can be more difficult for women compared to men because of right. Islamic law. There are a few ways a woman can initiate a divorce. Kula is a form of divorce initiated by the wife where she returns her dowry. Uh, uh, talak al -taf tafid. In some marriage contracts, a husband may delegate his right to initiate divorce to his wife, allowing her to end the marriage. Okay. Good terms. They negotiated a favorable terms. Fosk. This is a judicial divorce granted by the court due to specific circumstances such, such as husband's impotence. Yo! <coughs> That's crazy. Desertion or cruelty. The wife must provide evidence. So what, you gotta take a pic of his flaccid dick? Talak. A husband can uh, unilaterally divorce his wife by pronouncing Talak. Three times. You just say it three times? Talik, talik, talik. However, a husband divorces his wife this way. She can also file for a judicial divorce to seek her rights. Okay, so it sounds like, you know, more liberal than Crowder's, uh, Crowder's dream situation. Here's another. You guys want to see more Crowder or quartering <laughs> titles? The quartering's perverted search history exposed. I mean, that's just very technical. That one's not even that mean. Why do you care? You know, I'm just interested in you, Jeremy. I find you interesting. Um, I'm not long for this planet. <laughs> um, yeah, there it is. Nah, bro, I don't like Jeremy either. So moving on. Um, here's some old tweets of Stevens that are coming back to haunt him since he is now a divorced dad here he is in 2002 2022 this is during his divorce drama seems to be a direct comment on his wife women are doing less work at home they're unhappier divorce rates are skyrocketing and men don't want to marry them great job feminism Somehow it's just not his fault, is it? Right. It was your wife who didn't want to be married to you anymore. Because, yeah, because she has more time on her hands because she's doing less work at home. And so she has more time. She thinks that she's entitled to her own happiness. Wow, what a freak. Freak ass. And she votes. Ugh. No. <laughs> Great job, feminism. I'm sure Crowder blames feminism for his wife leaving him. Bro, this is why your this is why your wife left you, brother. This right here. Uh, there's more, of course. That's it. Ranting about no fault divorces. Here he is again. <laughs> this is last year, around the same time. Yes, it's tragic. Stephen Crowder with Roe overturned. 
the right to same-sex marriage should be next, he says. Yeah. By the way, I think that states should have the right to regulate same-sex marriage. You know why? Keep Go ahead with the sad music. I think it's very fitting. Because states have different divorce laws. State issue. Oh, it's no-fault divorce, which, by the way, means that in many of these states, if a woman cheats on you, she leaves, she takes half. <laughs> yeah, that's how... Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it sucks that she cheated on you, Stephen, but... It's still her life. You guys got married. It's like you complain about the contract. This is the contract. You guys are married. You're together. She's entitled to that. If she's at home taking care of your fucking kids without your absent dad ass, dead ass, dad ass, deadbeat ass, she gets half, bro. What do you want her? You're the mother of your kids to go starve? Scumbag? Dad, let's focus on the fact she cheated on you. That's bad enough. The fact that she gets half kind of makes sense to me, Stephen. He goes, I don't want her to work, but also she's not entitled to half. Which way do you want it, dude? You can't have it both ways. Yeah, it's sad. It is tragic. Yeah. By the way, I think that states should have the right to regulate same-sex marriage. You know why? Because states have different divorce laws. State issue. Oh, it's no-fault divorce, which, by the way, means that in many <coughs> of these states, if a woman cheats on you, she leaves, she takes half. <laughs> I think he, I think his wife, I think, uh, just a little on the nose. Because this was right when divorce was happening. <laughs> so, it's no not no fault. fault. No it's fault? the fault of the man. <laughs> I was about to say. And that's why the, the money laugh. is not about whose fault it is. It's just fair. You know what I mean? That's just the way it is, brother. Look, you can argue till you're blue in the face. Well, even the women who separate yourself from feminists, well, she is entitled to 40%. 40% of young men don't want to get married. Thins out the hurt a little bit. What do you what do you want? Do you want to have do you want to be able to get married? Or do you want to be living hussy for the rest of your life? There's gonna to have to be a compromise. There need to be changes to to, to marital laws. Dude, he's so crazy. Such a freak. He's, he's, his argument is, I need you to stay at home and work, but if we get divorced, you get nothing. Then why the fuck should she be at home raising the kids? She should be out getting her own job then and living her own life. God, he's so pathetic. Why would she leave him? I just don't get it. And I'm not even talking about same-sex marriage. I'm talking about divorce laws, talking about alimony laws, talking about child support laws. Men now don't want to get married. It's a raw deal for a lot of them. And I'm not on board with the, the, the men's rights activists who believe that they shouldn't be held accountable for any, certainly not on board with the pickup culture, the idea of one night stands, not at all. But I am saying that there does need to be a give and take to all legal contracts. That's not the case in many of these no-fault divorce states. So I Dude, he is talking about his own divorce. It's tragic. I mean, it's really breaking my heart. His wife probably found Brad the Bull uh, one night and... Thanks the, for taking care of her, bro. ...in the stable. And she... He took her for the ride of her life. <laughs> Somebody said she's getting louder without Crowder. Right. Oh, that's such a good one. Right. Shout out, shout out Yee Boy for that one. It's hard to interpret this uh, monologue any other way. Again, June 24th, 2022. This was during, well, yeah. after he said the divorce th stuff started. Yeah. It was in June. Mm-hmm, that's what I wow. said. Yeah, it was. I don't know why it's outlandish to say, well, this state can make it no fault, and this state can say that if you cheat, you forfeit your right to the division of property, and states can't say, by the way, these are the qualifications for marriage. Namely, a man and a woman. I, I don't know. Again, legally, you may not like it. It's not your fault. But it seems to me that it should be a state issue. I want the state as uninvolved in marriage as possible. Yes. So it's then, not your fault. Okay, so the state shouldn't be involved. Yet at the same time, the state should compel my wife to stay with me. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little weird, right? If the, if the state's not involved, then she could just leave at any time. But then he's saying, well, if she leaves me, then 
She should be forced to stay with me because she would be financially destitute without me. Which, which was a lot of the reason why women stayed in these horrific relationships back in the day. Because they had no financial freedom. So that this is what Stephen wants. That makes sense to me. Where sure, you can leave. But what are you going to do? You're going to be homeless. I'll be, you know what I mean? I'm not going to give you a penny. No, oh, Stephen. Stevie, Stevie, Stevie. Thanks for taking care of her, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I honestly, it's a covenant. As a Christian, it's a covenant between you, your wife, or your husband, and God. It didn't say, and thou shalt go to the courthouse and give half. <laughs> thou, shalt have, <laughs> thou shalt have joint ally bank accounts. You know what I mean? I just, it, it ends up... Unfortunately, it's destroyed the institution of marriage for young Christian men. How yeah. many? I mean, you many... can do that, right? Like, you don't have to get legally married. You could just go to church and tie the knot, like a, a religious wedding, and yeah. and cohabitate. Absolutely. And that's well. There, there, there's two marriage distinctions, right? There's religious, and then there's there's a state. Right, like a civil. Yeah, marriage. civil right. recognition. Yeah. But unfortunately for Stephen Crowder, even living together. Uh, there's a common law marriage where, because, so people like Steven Crowder can't fucking right, destroy yeah. his, uh, his, you know, significant other's life and hold them hostage, essentially, in a horrible marriage, which is what he has said he wants to do. That's awesome, man. Chats do we get? How many emails do we get? And this, there's, there hasn't been a show that's been more pro-institution of marriage than this program. And, how many and yet here I am. Christian men going like, yeah, you know, I really, but I'm really afraid to do this because I live in a state where even if she cheats on me and she leaves, I have to pay half and I have to pay alimony. And we go like, why are you so worried about her cheating on you? Like, why are you so insecure? You know, if marriage is so beautiful and holy, just, just trust the process, brother. I get it. It's a raw deal where I'm almost at the point of advocating you get married in the church as a covenant. That's it. And Good just idea. ignore the state at that point. Because you guys should be together because you make a covenant before God, which should be stronger than the state. It shouldn't be about property and tax benefits. Unfortunately, I understand why it is. Because we wanted to create a nuclear family as a building block for society here. But I don't understand. You know, people act as though it's, it's this travesty. If states can determine all kinds of marital laws, why can't states determine... They can determine what qualifies for a marriage in many other facets. They can say, well, you can't marry someone. Why? <laughs> because you're already married, so you can't marry a second one. You say, oh, okay, that's fine. They can say, hey, well, you can't, you can't take half. Why? Because you cheated, so you, can't, you don't get to divide half. At this that's point. got nothing to do with the half. She cheated on him, bro. He's obsessed with this. She cheated. She cheated. This girl mm, cheated. She wants maybe. half. Sounds like she got some strange dick, bro. And it sounds like he was able to get hard. Steven probably fucking eats Cialis for breakfast, or what is it called? Cialis? It's like a Viagra thing. Oh, Cialis? Cialis. Cialis. Oh, 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 yeah. Wear this wig and talk in a deep voice, baby. <laughs> My birthday. <laughs> okay, but then another state says, I don't care that she cheated. She can, she can take half or he can take half if she's the primary earner. If they can do that, why uh, can't they say, well, you can't get married? Why? Because you both have dicks. <laughs> what a loser. Jesus Christ. Unhappy marriages are worse for children than happy separated co-parents, says Evie. 100%. You know, at a certain point, as bad as divorce is, it's, at a certain point, it's going to be better for the kids to mm. not be around two people that hate each other as the model of love for them to look up to. That's like lifelong trauma. Uh, here he keeps going on about it. Only that on the day he tweeted this, uh, Crowder also tweeted another thing on Twitter. This is from, again, September 8, 2022. I just wish women understood how much men love them. And want, this is like weird nice guy school shooter shit. <laughs> yeah, for real. I just wish women 
understood how much men love them and want them to be the woman they were designed to be. Dude, you are so fucking divorced, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to need to start being the woman I was designed to be. Yeah. I don't think that I'm fulfilling that prophecy yet. Again, this is One day. this is while the divorce is happening. And he's wondering, how could she <laughs> believe me? What was she designed to be? Like a fuckhole? I mean, like genuinely, what was a woman designed to be? That implies that she has some function or purpose by design. Like, she was designed to not leave him. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just to be a fuckhole. I mean, I, yeah. I know that's very vulgar, but like, what's the biological design of women in Crowder's I'm, mind? I'm guessing he means to obey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obey, your, obey your husband, uh, you know, clean the house, cook the meals, raise the kids. <laughs> Never oppose. Don't have your own thoughts. Let me borrow your clothes sometimes mm-hmm. and try mine. Your heels. <laughs> don't, t- don't, don't tell on me when you find me in your aunt panties. Mm-hmm. Put on little plays together. <laughs> Make mm-hmm. little movies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We go to the gay club together be- just because I like that the guys aren't hitting on you. Makes me feel insecure. Right, right. Great song selections, too. Right. Great songs <laughs> to dance to. The through. cocktails are insane at yeah. the gay club. <laughs> yeah. They're so good there. I hate those gays, but man, they make a mean cocktail. Did I say cock? Hmm. Yeah, this man is psychotic. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, Stevie. Uh, This is why, like, white Christian nationalists think that they're being, like, uh, think that they're, like, the being counter, uh, they think they're down and out. They're like, they're like, yo, what happened to this great world where nobody could fuck with us? Wow, what a fucking nightmare. You're saying that I can be a total psycho scumbag piece of shit and my wife can actually leave me? Like, there's consequences? Dude, the system is rigged against me. No. The state needs to change that. (laughs) Right. It's so sad. It's so tragic. Uh, he put out another video about no-fault divorce. He's obviously talked- he's talked about this so many times. And these are all recent. Here's a clip from September 7th, 2022. It's not your fault. Same day as that last tweet. It is undeniable- It is his fault, Robin. Don't tell him it's not his fault. It is his fault. Fault. It's fault. (laughs) That women, they spend far- the awful old days, as they show in that, that, that trailer, women spend less time on household chores now. It's fallen by 44% since 1976. Mm-hmm. What a tragedy. Hey, go! Like, if, that, if you're bothered by that, you fucking oh. lost that life, bro. Oh my god. You lost that life. Your fault. <laughs> Your fault, thank you. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> The evil oppression of men asking you to help clean a house, which is they probably because they're all fucking got jobs, bro. It's nice that you're like a billionaire based on just being racist. <laughs> Women have jobs, dude. Also yours, and he likes uh, likely pays for. Hey, good, you don't have to clean. Thanks, Rumba. <laughs> oh my god, he's so he's angry. So mad. What the fuck is his deal with Roomba? It's, it's taking the women's jobs. <laughs> the Roomba, they're taking all the women's jobs. <laughs> of, of sweeping the floor of my house. <laughs> we must de- uh, we must abolish Roomba. <laughs> a Roomba the is state- like a fucking Terminator for him. <laughs> the state needs to do something about those Roombas. What's next? The Roomba's gonna fuck my wife too? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. He's so exposing himself in all these videos. <laughs> but here's the thing, as their household chores and duties have fallen down, because that's what oppresses women, we have study after study after study, here's one by the American Economic Association, showing that women are more unhappy than ever. Here's a quote. The lives of women in the United States have improved over the past 35 years by many objective measures, yet we show that measures of subjective well-being indicate that women's happiness has declined both absolutely, here's the thing, both absolutely and relative to men. Hmm. You know what else we have now as a byproduct of feminism? Men won't get married. You have an entire generation of men. I find this a little bit dubious, this stat he cited. Paradox of declining 
female happiness. All sources available in description. The lives of women in the United States have improved over the last 35 years by many objective measures, yet we show that measures of subjective well-being indicate that women's happiness has declined. Is it possible that all have declined? Oh, she says relative to men. This decline in relative well-being is found across various data sets, measures of subjective well-being, demographic groups, and industrial countries. Relative decline in female happiness have eroded a gender gap in happiness in which women in the 1970s reported higher subjective well-being than men did. These declines have continued, and a new gender gap is emerging, one with higher subjective well-being for men? I'd like to check the, the veracity of those claims. <clears throat> you know? Did you ask ChatGBT yet? If Steven Crowder is citing a statistic, it's like a 99.9% .9 chance that he's misinterpreting From Prager it. You. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I mean, maybe. Adult incest. What's and your argument? relative to men. Hmm. You know what else we have now as a byproduct of feminism? Men won't get married. You have an entire gen Men are not marrying because uh, for many men, the reward for getting married are far less than they used to be. Well, the cost and dangers of it are far higher. That sounds like extremely biased in the way it was written. What do you mean less rewarding? Millions of men no longer want to get married, and you can thank the government for that. Yeah, I wonder, gee, I wonder who wrote this article. <laughs> Your fault. <laughs> Generation of men who are refusing to get married. The last number I heard, I don't, I, I'm going by rote, I believe it was 30-something percent. It was nearing 40 something percent. And women say, I don't care, I don't need a man, till they realize they're hitting that age where that window's closing, biology is real, despite what Cosmo tells you. So women are doing 22. less work at home, they're doing less work at home, they're getting more angry, they're more unhappy, divorce rates are skyrocketing, and men don't want to marry you, also because of feminist divorce and Thank you for doing your part for Thanks. that, Stephen. <laughs> You're doing your part. <laughs> Your fault. I love that. That's my favorite right now. Um, wow. How I can't imagine. The, I can't imagine why she left him, man. Weird. Can't imagine it. Fault. Tracking down clips of Stephen. Oh, is this this is guy's been doing all of God's work. Tracking down clips of Stephen talking about divorce on yeah. the show. <laughs> We've seen all these. Uh, I included all the good ones in the doc, but I mean, honestly, I, we get the, I feel it like is we, undeniable. we get the idea. Uh, well, let's one more. That women, they spend far, the awful old days as they show in that, that, that trailer, women spend less time on household chores now. It's fallen by 44% since 1976. Okay, hey! dude, I get it. the same it. one. Like, yeah, just fucking wash the dishes, bro. It's not that serious. <laughs> Uh, so that's kind of what's going on there. But then the Jew, the gossip continues. Uh, his ex-leprechaun, Dave Landu, who we've made fun of. Uh, Dave is not funny or no. interesting, so I'm not surprised that they fired him. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Dave. He it, apparently was considered, you know, the peak of comedy on the show, though. So it, it, it seems like it was a loss because the, the Crowder fans uh, have been missing him. Although but, they might turn on him now, now that he spilled all the beans. Sorry, Dave. So you guys probably recognize him. He was just sitting there, like his little sidekick. I don't know. It was really. He was the one uh, you will recall when when uh, <laughs> when Sam Cedar showed up. Exactly. He scurried across the frame like a little. <laughs> yeah. like, He's the one that they uh, switched to, so Crowder could hide. Right. Apparently, yeah. he's so funny. He can handle. He can handle it all. I'd like to see some of his sets. I know this guy is just a horrible comedian, bro. I know it. It has to be true. Let me see. Not even old timey. Here's a trailer for his one hour special. Let's see. Oh shit. Is it going to get claimed? Yeah, I think it, it is. This is definitely not worth <laughs> I, 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 I want to see a clip. I like that little synth lick, though. That's pretty, wah, pretty wah, tasty. Wah, wah. <laughs> I want to see a clip of this man's comedy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's a piece of shit. I don't like him at all. But uh, he got fired or left 
And now he's doing all the gossip rounds, and I love it. Because he was with Crowder for a long time, right? At least two years, because that's when we Sam Cedar him. He was there then. Yo, five years ago, this guy had three million views on his uh, special with Comedy Central. So he was kind of a... Uh, Kind of popping. He went to Crowder for his career to die. Yo, he had a mohawk? What the fuck? All right. Is this going to get us claims? God damn, I That's hate That's what I'm saying. Let's just, let's Let me catch Dave, one joke. Dave Landau comedy. <laughs> one joke. We're getting the episode claim. This is going to be the most money. If he gets the claim on this, is going to be the most money he's made in decades. <laughs> Open as a warning. Yeah, that's because you're fucking with their business. You know what people want to buy way more than fruits and vegetables? Crack. <laughs> Nobody's ever sucked dick for an orange. That's never happened. All right, I don't want to get claimed. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, he's, so, he, so here's some clips. He starts by saying... Um, now, he left when they moved to the uh, Rumble, and nobody knew what happened or why. And uh, the gossip's coming out for some reason. He, first of all, says he wasn't allowed to say, Come. I think it made Stephen hard to imagine a men's a man's semen out in the come just blasting through the air towards his maybe come. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was watching some of uh, his stand up. I was trying to find something. What what is it? Uh, nothing. None? You're good. Come. Here it is. I had been more censored as things went on, where I couldn't, for example, say the word come. <laughs> okay. Uh, like ejaculate. I, I right. forgot when I made the joke that was offensive or whatever it was. You about. could only eat it. You couldn't say it's, it's going to go in your mouth, not come out of your mouth. I could eat it with a spoon, or I could say yummy yum yums when referring to it, <laughs> but I could never actually say. I could eat it with a fork. I could eat it on a ship. <laughs> That's very interesting. No cummies. No cummies. No cummies allowed. Hmm. I thought he was against censorship. Talking about Steven installing a Dave Don't Talk button. I need one of those this for you guys. Me up. This man, <laughs> the image you get from you him know, is I, a man it, who is so, so, so deeply dysfunctionally insecure. He installed a button. When he starts talking too much, he hits the button and he's got to shut up. Yeah, he, well, he, I'll let him explain. Here it is. It became a little weird because a light was put in where it was his rant button and it was basically a dave don't talk button wait so there's literally a light bulb what color was the light bulb there was four lights in a row <laughs> there and <were> three it... lights. <laughs> <laughs> serious and it, when it was hit i wasn't supposed to talk and they you said really, you what, know... was it like a regular colored light bulb i'm with... sorry but this is fucking tea this is hilarious <laughs> You're so insecure. Is insecurity alpha or not? I don't know. Seems kind of beta to me. Shut up, dude. You're talking too much. Stop it. Shh. The What's lights like say shh. When the lights are on, you shh. have to shh. <laughs> shh. Shh. The rule said so. Uh, it was like a, a, li a yellow, uh, okay. a pretty bright yellow, like a, okay. a, a you know, like yield. So it's like off camera, but in your eyesight. Yes. And, and I was, would he be the one pressing the button or was there a producer pressing the button? He would press it. So like on Crowder had a button <laughs> at his desk. That's pretty incredible, man. And that's that's like that's like some pretty serious uh engineering, I would say, right, Dan? I mean, yeah, get a button right here. Mm, I haven't seen that kind of engineering since Matt Lauer, so yeah. That's... Yeah, exactly. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I get a I'd be like, yo, I need a button on my <laughs> desk that lights up a big ass light. Like, why would you even want to? Um, why would you even want to manage that while you're doing a show? He would just get so pissed that this guy was trying to be funny or entertaining. He had to hit the button. Turns like he had a button under his desk or, or the table and when it's steven's turn to talk and dave needs to shut the f up he presses this button yes how do i get this to happen because frankly we're 13 minutes in and you're already on my last nerve <laughs> <laughs> this is with michael now aren't you that hitting it me. now when i watched this interview oh, yesterday to pull time stamps from it, it like there there is like 15 minutes of content in this interview and the rest of it is them riffing so 
you're going to see a lot of that. Should I keep watching from this point? I mean, we got no, the button. You, there's a button. You get the idea. That's embarrassing, boy. A uh, weird de- detail that when he pushed back about it, he was told it was always there. Wait, I'm, I want to see that. <laughs> Dave was gaslighting was, him. <laughs> Dave, Dave started you know, gaslighting him. It became a little weird because a light was put in where it was his rant button. Yeah. Was it like a regular colored light bulb or was it like red? Uh, it was like a, a light. And when it's Steven's turn to talk and Dave needs to shut the F up, he presses this button. Yes. How do I get this to happen? Because, frankly, we're 13 minutes in and you're already on my last nerve. <laughs> <laughs> this is with Michael Malice. Aren't you that hitting it me. now? <laughs> oh, that's that's just Zoom doing it? Um, yeah, he... Uh, yeah, he... Uh, he had that. Well, and then he, I was told that he's like, well, that was always there. And I'm like, no, I, w- I would have noticed the, the light and been told. It was about always it. there. Folks, you know how ExpressVPN. Okay, slick little ad. Uh, it was always, my shut up Dave button was always there. <laughs> Pretty That's wild so thing funny. to lie about. Corey has a new button, a uh, suggestion for a new button for Crowder, a button to make his wife stay. Right. Yeah. That's like the Matt Lauer button. Virginia says, I married my high school sweetheart after 18 years, and I could not be happier. <laughs> Suck it, Crowder. <laughs> Christopher just donated $5 and said, doesn't the HB crew all have a button to shut Ethan up? <laughs> Peace yeah, and that, love. Well, uh, that's true. But it's the inverse. Of, yeah. it, we have a button to shut the host power, of the show up. Power to the people. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, thank you for the dono, Jay Christopher, as well. Okay, so I love these details. Then he also was told explicitly that if they were riffing, Crowder must always get the last word. This is the one. This one's great. Here. That's I, I, I don't know. I've never heard of that, to be honest. I mean, I don't feel like that's a thing. But maybe what do I know? I've never been a co-host. To I've heard it in radio memory. a couple times. Very really? rarely. Okay. Yeah, but I have heard of it where it's just the star needs to look like the star. So okay. it, I guess, you know, it's it's his show. Fine. But I also feel like somebody who's so pro free speech and non censorship. He was really about censorship. <laughs> OK, off me. Um, but, you know, he was going through, you know, surgery. That was a big deal at the time and stuff. I was fairly forgiving of it, you know. And then about a year in, it was February 2022 for the Super Bowl. Right after and- 9-11. It was right after 9-11. Um, nation was healing. None of us could forget. And <laughs> I was selling flags. I was making just a mint off of You're tiny making flags. a killing. A Come killing. on, that's money on the table. I was <laughs> yes. making a killing at ground zero. Come on, guys. Yes. Dude, this is the thing. I don't want to hear about the good, stupid little bullshit. I want to hear the tea. No small American flags. It's a lot of that. Cut to the chase. Damn, that's that. why you had the light. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to build a mosque three doors <laughs> down from ground zero. Uh, and people were very upset, and I didn't understand why. So these are my beliefs. And uh, so I was I was uh, plotting um, a big Patriot Day event, and uh, that that was a big day. So I forgot where we were. Oh we yeah, talked about it was, a year after. Uh, yeah, the he, after he wanted life. me to film a special. <laughs> okay. And uh, what kind of I want, like I'm sorry, episode? he didn't. I wanted to. I'm you sorry. You wanted to special, okay. Yeah. Stand-up comedy. So yeah. I had decided I was going to buy the equipment from the special in Dallas. Talk uh, about the allegations! <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. That's so good. That's uh, I, I, I can't take credit. I'm giving that to Ian. Oh, he, that Ian to you. Ian's like, play uh, that. Ooh, that. Little yeah. Okay, good a little... Call, uh, call. I like the collaborative nature back there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good one. We were selling out this theater, and he decided he wanted to get back into stand-up, which he had done when he was younger. Okay. And he had just been a host since then. Uh, so he said, hey, if I can I jump on and open it, and I'll help promote it. And you can help me maybe write some of my, my stuff, get me back into <laughs> it. Loser, idiot, help. dummy. You want this guy to help you write? <laughs> promote it. And I said, sure, of course. So we ended up selling out two shows, obviously, instead of just one because he was yeah. helping promote it and he's a draw. So we went there and Matt McClowery was the opener. He's been on this show as well. People can look back. Yep. Oh, autistic, brilliant. And Thank you. Autistic yeah, let's just, Clary, you right? can literally add. autistic. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The real deal. The real, the Ooh, real that's kind nice. of shooter. Love that. 
And can he's trans can too? Yes. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> he's really passing as a freak. <laughs> yeah, he does a great job. Born a lady, but totally, total candlelight vigil. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he he uh, went up and got a standing ovation after Stephen. And Stephen kind of saw we were friends. And after that, uh, I you know pulled Stephen aside, and Stephen couldn't do the Monday show. And I said, could. Matt come in and and co-host with me. He said, "Yeah." So now it's Super Bowl Sunday. The whole special one. Bro, right. that one was so nice. The last one in the. Can you rewind the the kinetic sand thing? That one was so nice with like the neon blue and black. I can't watch. I can't watch it. Did. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll just play. You can find it. Yeah, I'll just play. It. Great. Um, I paid everybody to film it except for uh, one other person, Tim, who was there to film Stephen's set, <laughs> and I was very looking forward to the special coming out. <laughs> and Monday had uh, or Sunday had rolled around, and I get a call from the showrunner that said Matt's not allowed to do this. Wait, show. this is the critical part. Hey, okay, no, 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 Canuck. He finally he finally got to the this. point right I here. I want to hear this. Did they tell you like literally what they say? Uh, via text, it was just, um, Matt's not allowed, uh, Matt can, uh, it's been like decided something like that, Matt, I can find the text, but, but the word is allowed. It's not like we don't have time or we won't fit the schedule. The word was Correct. allowed. Matt's not permitted allowed or something like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. To do the show on Monday. Is and there I, any, was there any explanation at all? No. Okay. So I said, that's odd. I already asked Steven and he said it was okay. Yeah. And they said, oh, that's weird. I must've gotten mixed messages. So I just text Steven and said, hey, I, I just talked to the showrunner. Um, I just want to make sure it's still cool that Matt comes in. And he texted me something back along the lines of what's done is done. <laughs> oh. Okay. And I said, what, it, what does that mean? It's your show. Wait, but wait, yes. maybe, he, maybe he had a light. And when the light went on, <laughs> this was making sense. There we go. See, dude, you're in something good. Stay on, stay focused, my friend. The white pill. This is called apparently. See, you have the yellow light. He's got the red light in his house. There's, it's, it's lights all the way up. It's true. He maybe when I asked him, he was seeing a green light. Yes, you idiot. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I, this I, is how I show, bus show business works. It's this. Yeah. What's what? It is the business of show. And <sighs> you, know, I, you guys are not in showbiz. You're in no biz. Got him. Mm-hmm. Cause you ain't got no job and I don't know who you are, but you're annoying. I am not paying attention to the How lights. are you going to show things without lights? You're going to yes. show them. Okay. Without... Guys. So apparently there's a, something here where it says, can I just uh, tell the story? I can tell the story better than Dave. It's his story. <laughs> I would like, I think it's more effective from him. I don't know if it is. I genuinely don't know if it is something about he has, Steven has to get the last word. Uh, I, I think you accidentally skipped past that. Huh? It, it, that was that whole thing that you were watching was this next timestamp. Uh, uh, I didn't realize you Wait, were trying to Wait, click that one. Watch. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Click the one where it says uh -huh. he had to get the last word. Okay, maybe it's the wrong timestamp then or something. I don't know. That's it. I, I, I don't know. I've never heard of that, to be honest. I mean, I don't Let feel me go like back. Let me go thing. back. It was probably Just right before. It, out. it was important. To oh the, yeah, dude, that one is so nice. What is that? Is it glowing or something? Wow, well, yeah, I can't take my eyes off of that. Stunning. It was beautiful. It's Stunning. inverted. It's inverted, you think? And the way it fell oh, yeah. too. Really nice. <laughs> Golly, that is something, man. That is pretty. I've seen this literal compilation before. Because I watch it's Yo, that one's on fire. Yeah. Fans. Wait, what's happening there? I always felt that my job as a comedian was to leave out the good one. That's I, that's. It was before this too. It, Can we I, just I, move I, on I, from this point? <laughs> nope. I'm trying to ever. We were just steamroller. through that right. other story yeah, about yeah. another crazy thing that Crowder did, and now right before the point of the story, we've gone down a rabbit well, hole trying uh, to find this well, other. Find, thing. find the timestamp at least, then while I move on. Okay. Or somebody, you know what I mean. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, he explains Crowder screamed at him once and said he owns him. That was the part that you just 
He never. I, he didn't say that. I know. You were just getting you, to the uh, point of the, the whole story. I, I agree. I know. I apologize. It was the wrong thing. Don't yell at me. I'm not yelling. But let's. Uh, don't make me hit the fucking <laughs> button. On <laughs> I was <that. gonna> say, <laughs> we need a Dan button. <laughs> Dan. Can I just? Can I just no tell? Talking. Can I just tell the story? <laughs> Like, I know the information, I'm, and I can spit it out in, like, two seconds, and Dave is going to take 15 minutes to get through says, this. what's done is done. Yeah, what's done said, is done, what? Dan. All right. <laughs> it's right after <laughs> this ahead, that he ahead, screams it. What, what happened? His, I want to hear it. Okay. He went on tour. Steven Crowder hopped on it. He had two openers, Steven Crowder and this other guy. That's a friend of his. Steven isn't going to be there on the Monday after the show, so Dave asks him, hey, Steven, can my friend co-host with me? And he's like, yeah, no problem. And the next day, he gets a text from the showrunner saying, that guy's not allowed on the air. He texts Steven, said, hey, what's up? You said it was cool. Steven gets on the phone with him, starts screaming at him that he's nothing without him. And, uh, you know. That sounds good. I want to see him. <laughs> what does that mean? It's your show, which is ironic. <laughs> That's what he yeah. said. And my phone rings. And, you know, I, I don't want to go here. greatly into the conversation between us. But it was, uh, it, he's like... Do you want to? Do you still want to be on Loud with Crowder? And I said, not at the moment. And mm. uh, he starts going off on me. And now there's a ton of people in my apartment who can hear it. Wait, like, he's literally raising his voice. He's screaming at me. Okay, so literally raising his voice, not just being stern. Like to the he point just people, said, screaming, bro. Uh, Idiot. Audible, yeah. yeah. Dumbass, bro. So why he was do screaming. You have a yes. Podcast? Okay, so but he was raising his voice. I just said screaming. <laughs> How loud was he projecting, do would you say? That actually seems like a line of questioning I would pursue. Yeah. What was the base decibels? <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, started stern, but then it got into telling me that he owns me. And, and In those kind of, words? Yes. I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He owns me. And, <laughs> and once no, you say it that, must have been on clearance. <laughs> I mean, no one I, I was on sale, can, baby. Neither of us can even reach the top. I own you. That's awesome. What a fucking psycho. <laughs> Um, Crowder also was supposed to tour with that comedian, but Crowder insisted the other comedian couldn't do his closing bit on stage because he was too funny. The same guy they're talking about yeah. now. Exactly. It bothered me just because I don't like being talked to like that. Yeah, who does? At all. Right. Um, yeah. but it was... Really? I thought that was your job, little leprechaun bitch boy. <laughs> Bro, I don't... You sat there and peddled, like hateful violent freak shit and like you now you're gonna claim and complain that daddy steven yelled at you yeah actually to be clear up, um it dude. becomes clear over the course of this interview that uh he was a big uh writer for the show so dave believes all of the things that crowder does good yeah so he's so, just as big as just as big he's as like he's yeah so anyway after the segment where we called for the genocide of trans people right he yelled at me and it was really mean yeah exactly. that was really so, mean the way you did that we're not we're not Sympathizing. Yeah, right when we got done reenacting uh, the murder of George Floyd, mm -hmm. he, he looked at me weird and it made me feel kind of bad. <laughs> Comical in a lot of ways because it's just, I understand that there's going to be a touch of narcissism to anybody who's sort of in that field. I get it. Oh, not me. But, going hubris, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, it was it was so over the top that I was trying not to laugh. And then he said Matt couldn't do his closing bit, which was killer because it was too dirty. And I and you've seen. Wait, Matt, wait, wait, Matt. hold on, hold on. The, he couldn't do the closing bit on stage. If we were going to tour together in the future, Matt couldn't do his 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 closing bit on stage. Somehow that comes up. So you could tell there was this projection of how he was angry of how well that bit did. Wait, wait. Uh, yeah, he's, he had said it got a standing O because yeah. it was so funny. Right. God, he's insecure. <laughs> Uh, must be hard to maintain a relation, a marriage when you're that insecure. Yeah, that's true. Mm hmm. Um, let's see. There's so many good stuff in here. It's actually quite shocking. Since we're talking about insecure, this one's probably good because this is where he just straight up was just saying he's a. Well, this one. Okay, yeah, I'll click this one. He thinks Crowder was bullied a lot and why he's now an insecure bully. Yeah, the, the, and that's the part that. I don't think he ever grasped was I was very and I'm still very forgiving of him because whatever he has and whatever he's going through, I just think he was bullied at some point in his life <laughs> and he's be, he has become the bully and he doesn't realize it. And that's what sucks is he's he's got a lot of yes men around him and I really do love his staff and I love unlike you, huh? 
He wasn't a yes man. Right. Yeah, right. No, definitely. Not him. Not him. Not the little leprechaun yeah, who yeah. fucking did river dancing to transphobia. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Shut up, dude. With them, but I think that they are kind of just a little bit intimidated at this point to keep their own job. I know I was, so I don't blame them. Bitch. But it's just, he, he, there's just something there that I just don't grasp because. Dude, he sounds like a terrorist, man, on set. Um, he also told uh, uh, the leprechaun he wasn't allowed to promote his comedy show on the show. And th that's awesome. Love that for him. Then the money changed and all of a sudden I noticed that I wasn't allowed to promote my own shows on Crowder unless it was behind the paywall or right before. How were you the, told that you're not allowed to promote your show? Like the shows would start and two minutes before showtime, somebody would walk up to me and go, hey, you can't promote your show today. There, there was 100% to Stephen would just, his operations isn't bigger than ours. He'd be no. like, hey, go, go tell Leopard. Yeah, it'd be like Dave. you whispering to me to tell Zach that he can't promote the Roxy show. Can you imagine, like, the culture of, of what is there behind it's where so I have to tell you to tell Zach not to promote we, Roxy Live I, uh, 14th? It was May 13th. I can't, I can't promote Zach Lewis Live with the Roxy May 13th. Don't, I said don't say that. Oh, right. Do I want to promote Zach Lewis Live with the Roxy? No. No. No promoting Zach Lewis no. Live at the Roxy May 13th. No, never. Don't ever say that again. Zachary Lewis live at the Roxy. <laughs> but you hired a comedian. He's a professional comedian. And then you tell him, like, he's doing this for exposure. I mean, the kind of exposure he's getting is more like the Nuremberg uh, trials kind of exposure, but exposure nonetheless. No, it was just, it was more to, it was like demeaning. <laughs> so you'd be like, oh, oh thanks. Great. Was the, okay, let's, let me try, let me play devil's advocate. Was okay. it the kind of thing when you were on the show, you would just use any excuse to bring up your show to promote it? So they wanted to kind of pull back on that? No, never once. He just wanted to promote his shows that we were both on together or the ones that he started doing in clubs, which I realized that my agent was booking that even though I had asked my agent if he started repping Steven, I was never given a straight answer until obviously I figured out that that night in Dallas, my agent had flown there to sign Steven. And wow, okay. now it was his bigger client. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I love them. <laughs> such a such a such good vibes, like you could tell back yeah, then. Yeah, huh? for sure. The only great thing would be is if Leprechaun Dave fucked his wife. And that's what that's the real story. Damn, that'd be juicy. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for candy. He had a he had a family member very sick, which Crowder knew. And he was told suddenly told he could he couldn't go check on them. This fucking demonic, dude. I get back from break, and at this time, I and I I wouldn't go into anything about Stephen's family, and I I wouldn't want him to go anything about mine either, obviously, and. But somebody in my family was very, very sick and had been battling something for a while, seriously. And he knew that. And I came back and he gave Yeah, they had me... an ugly, talentless family member. Yes. And it was just... He's probably a lesbian. It's me. And I'll tell you, uh, no matter how much work is done on this face... It's... This mug. Yeah, God has cursed me. Uh, that's why they wanted to change Mug Club. Uh, it was just any association. And uh, so we... <laughs> Talk about the allegations, bro. I'm starting to think the shut up Dave button was a good idea. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, actually, Crowder was pretty based for that. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But why hire someone that you hate, that, that you don't respect? Damn. So I get back, and the first thing I do is I get brought to lunch and I get presented with this option with a new contract. Now, Dave, before you talk about your contract and the importance of money, let's talk a little bit about Patriot Gold. Bro, are you <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> That Fuck was this. so fucking sleek. What a segue. He's about to sling gold coins, Come I know people. it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Folks, if you've been on the fence about buying gold and silver, have you seen what's going on? Why don't the gold, I've never been approached by gold bully young people. Yeah. Maybe we have and we said, no, that's stupid. I don't think I don't remember ever seeing one of those. Would you guys buy gold coins from us? <laughs> <laughs> I get them. What the theory is, you bury them in your yard or something. Uh, What's yeah. the theory with those? They're shiny doubloons. 
You know, get like, us to the moon. It's an investment climate, because the climate, price of yeah. gold will theoretically go. I know, up. but they're sending you gold. Oh, this is, they're not sending you gold. I, I don't know. I've never. They probably are. Cause, cause I mean, has, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's advertised. What kind that. of investment is that? You just have a bar of gold? I mean, it's shiny, dude. I don't get that. Buy this commemorative Trump coin. Only a few available. Yeah. All right, let's 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 skip forward this wonderful gold uh, advert quickly. Sorry about that. I'm good on gold coins for now. Or just go to malicegold.com. Patriot Gold Group is Consumer Affairs top. Isn't malice like hate? Malice Gold? Malice means like hate. That's that dude's name. Oh, well, fits. A gold IRA dealer six years in a row. So call 888-505-9845. Or just go to malicegold.com. They got a phone number? I never had an ad where they gave me a phone number. (laughs) That's so weird. (laughs) Oh, shit. A physical phone number? That's not right. New contract says that I... My, I'm now, my old contract is terminated. Okay, officially. It's officially terminated as of August 2022. Mm-hmm. And the, my new choice is I have to be there Monday through Friday. I, I got to probably look at the stipulations if you want me to pull it up real quick. Yeah, pull it up. Yeah, I can send one to you. It's, uh, Roll but it. it was, um, how do you bring this hot of tea and still be boring? <laughs> I mean, I hope his button was like a like pot of gold with a rainbow. So like the light shot out like a rainbow. It just there distracted. Was, there was there was a little pot <laughs> of gold, so that told him to shut up. You know, he goes chasing for his lucky charms. Yeah. Dead air. And I can just I can even just read it. It's just yeah, read it. And yeah. this was sent to my agent. <laughs> and it's like this is just simply the contract. It was uh, William just need a yes. I agree on all the revised items from Dave, and this is what Jeff showed me at lunch. And it was once I I get uh, with our legal team on the revised contract below. It stays on salary, so no extra money. Moves uh, to Texas, uh, moves his family to Texas uh, by the new year. First week. Wait, of so January. you are? I'm sorry. Part of your contract, <laughs> a proposed mm-hmm. contract, was that your family has to be moved across state lines. Correct. Including your kid. You have a son. How old's your son? Eight. Seven okay. at the time. Okay. Let me guess. Steven gave him a bu- a big old budget to help him out with that huge cost. I think he already mentioned uh, no bump in pay raise, actually. But certainly, if you're asking an employee to move across state lines, you have to give them some uh, some financial support for Perhaps. such a big move. Yeah. Okay. So pull him out of school during yeah. the school year, and he's coming to Texas. Okay. Yeah. Dave is here every week unless he notifies us well in advance for a show, just like a doctor's appointment. Can't be gone any more than every third weekend. No, wait. So let's break this down also. Stephen has started touring as a comedian. Yes. Stephen is no dummy. Stephen is well, very well aware that you and every comic, weekends are when you tour, hit the road, you make the money. So he is very um, clearly taking that secondary or even primary possibly at this point source of income from you because you're just going to be sitting in Dallas uh, for no reason because it's not like you're doing shows on the weekends with Crowder. Right. And gone every other third weekends means every six weeks. Okay. And then rights for show every well, I got day. It. I'm sorry. I, 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 Shut I, up, I, dude. Let him talk. I just want to break Does this is how people feel when they watch me. <laughs> Did, was it ever said to you or intimated to you <laughs> God that your damn touring it. is affecting somehow your performance or writing for the band? Okay, whatever, whatever. Steven's a giant. He's a just a mean guy. Um I think they, let, please don't make us sit through like five more. I days. love these. You added them. I this is all I didn't fun. think you were going to watch every single one. What did you think I'd do? Let's, Dave wasn't allowed in rehearsal. He would just sit in a separate room. Um, <laughs> yeah. Talking about Daily Wire stuff. He felt degraded. They made him dress like an elf. Yeah, I thought that that one's pretty funny. Because, well, let's be honest, bro. Uh, I mean, what is your job there? I thought you were like the ceremonial elf slash leprechaun. <laughs> what, so what? They made you dress like how you feel inside. What was the break? The break was... Trans, uh, trans uh, kings, actually. He... Uh, 
He's trans elf, trans leprechaun. His winter break, um, okay. right after he does his uh, like Santa thing. Okay. Um, where like we went out for a minute, and like I was dressed as an elf, and I felt a bit degraded, and uh, so I only like I I think I. I'm sorry, bro. I don't care. That's funny. You, you <laughs> dressed your ass as an elf, and you felt degraded. Funniest thing Stephen Crowder's ever done. Ugh. Oh. I, we filmed a couple things like we had some visa cards and I was asking people questions and then I just started handing them to people that didn't speak the language. And then, um, I guess I figured he'd, he'd never show that. Um, so I, um, right before the break, I was in his office and it was me, him and John. That's it, I guess. So uh, he felt degraded in the elf costume. We love that. Crowder told Dave he wished he made the amount of money Dave did. What does that mean? Me into his office and he said how he wished that he made the amount of money that I did last year and all this other stuff. And Wait, it was what? Very, he said that or intimated to that? Yes. He, wait, he was implying that you made more money than him or significantly more money than him. Way more money than him, yeah. That's weird. Okay. And I well, so this leads into I guess where the divorce happened. Yeah. So it's when he got her second divorce. Right. Second divorce in a year. Tough. Oof. So it was only when Dave the Leprechaun heard Crowder uh, complaining about his $50 million deal that he realized how badly he was being ripped off. Here it is. But then Jeremy came out and outed it too. Jeremy, the head of this Daily Wire. Right. And I saw it and I thought, $50 million, you know, and I like looked at and he it. Turned and it turned down $50 million, let's be clear. Or up, uh, the, I think $50 million was the ceiling, but it wasn't starting at 50 But yeah, he, he, yes. For $50 million, Ben Shapiro can have my foot. Oh, for $50 million, I couldn't even believe it. But it's also going, it hit me too, though, because that means, oh, what are we worth? That I just sat in an office yeah. and was shamed. The timeline met up. Marxist to... King. Yeah, he's yeah, he's coming. He's a right so, up to he, a realization here. This dude is awesome. He he just realized his work is being exploited by Stephen, and it's not fair. He's he weird. Just... Careful where you're going with that line of thought, there, brother. Back in August, that he first got this fifty million dollar offer okay. through my agent that I introduced him to. Oh, right. Yeah. Was at the same time that he knew what was going on in my personal life that he decided to slide me a contract that said you have to do all this yeah. when he was being offered 50 million. Yeah. People are saying how much it costs to run the studio and everything else. It's like, mm. I know how much it costs. It's not that much compared to 50 million. My God. So the way that I looked at it, I it's was not like, the Challenger. Yeah. Let's not. No. Uh, it, it's, not me, but it's not 50 million. Yeah. Hell, he's making a ton of money, which I'm not saying he doesn't deserve, but it's like at the same time, you knew that you were making a profit, and I was working very hard to help you make that profit. Uh -huh. And you were careful where you're going with this. Was, Fuck you. I'm going to take everything from oh, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. Wait a minute. I thought we believed in the free market. He's you're the going boss. down the wrong path there, buddy. Yeah, I, he deserves that. He works way harder than you. He's the boss. This man just realized that. Uh... The exploitation of workers cannot continue. <laughs> we we uh, revolution is required. And I just kind of was watching that, like, is this for real? Yeah. And then they came back and said, well, we're going to kind of negotiate where, you know, we come back with something, you come back with something. This isn't a contract. This is an offer sheet. And I listened to both sides and I thought, well, it seems that Jeremy's being very upfront and transparent here because... <laughs> He's pointing out everything. So I listened to a bunch of, you know, different talking heads. But from what I could gather, uh, each side had their points. But I felt that it was more of a stop big con thing seemed a little much. Yeah. And it seemed like. So push. he turned on Crowder when he was when he's being such a big ass bitch boy over the Daily Wire thing. Yeah. He was on the inside. And even he was like, what this, is Crowder complaining about? He this? says like, he thought it was on about. He says he thought it was fucked up, but play the Daily Wire tapes and call it slave wage when he uses labor from slaves from other countries for his merch. Careful, bro. 
And watch where you're towing. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, he's in a business where maybe he needs to for yeah. whatever protection. I get it. I didn't. He could get, get me too really easily. You know how yeah, it works. With, with yeah, the statue. I get yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So it's like I, I really didn't think it was that big of a deal. I did think it was a big deal to play it on the air. Yeah. And to call it slave wages when you buy clothing and mugs from slave wage countries where children make shit and you're saying you're a patriot like that bothers mm-hmm. he's like listen if anybody knows slave wages it's us we employ child laborers but he's right 50 million dollars is certainly not slave wage that's actually quite embarrassing to even say and he says finally the last straw was crowder playing the tapes he thinks crowder was the wrong and he in the wrong and he quit right after I want Leprechaun Dave to get his own show on Daily Wire. That would be a a nice (laughs) a knife in the back, huh? Yeah, I don't know if that offers on the table for him. Thing runs on hypocrisy and drama. That's the lubricant of our society. But it was all this infighting, you know, going at each other, uh, saying of who was right and who was wrong. And I thought it was very clear who was right and who was wrong. It was playing a private conversation. It shouldn't have been done. That's my honest opinion. Um... So I was going to go back onto the show. Um, I uh, was getting paid. I sent in a few things. But I did have jury duty on a day. And, and he goes know, on I and on about this jury called... duty. And... All right. Yeah. You Bro, is idea. he on the next season of jury duty? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Is he season two? <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. Uh, it's all falling down for Crowder, and I love it. Yeah. But you're saying his fans are not bothered by any of this. Um. Well, a small sample size of people on, like, his subreddit and stuff. Um, I mean, when you make the Daily Wire guys look like the good guys, you are really a demon. Yeah. And, uh, well, he is. I assume they were homies or something, you know, but apparently he just hated him the whole time. There it is, guys. So, the Crowder's wife left him lol. There it is. That's the show. Dad and Dave. Our two boys. Dad. Uh, oh, I got pictures of the boys at a bookstore. Oh. Brucey's walking and picking out books. It's crazy. So cute. Oh my God. So cute. In a book? Yes, in a book. So, uh, uh, yeah, one last detail because I saw a lot of people asking about it in the chat because your little box was covering it on the bottom right. But Dave was wearing an idol shirt in that interview, uh, which is very strange. Idols is like a, a punk band that is very explicitly left wing. Um, I don't know how he could be a fan of theirs. This is very strange. Is Dave perhaps just. He's just in it for the money. Just being a hateful bigot for money. I mean, (laughs) I don't know. Or I mean, there's a lot of conservatives that like Rage Against the Machine too, and they are like explicitly Hmm. Marxist. So I I don't. Should we get Dave to call in? I could conduct a better interview than that goofball. (laughs) And he's got tea. Yeah, I don't know if he would agree to that. Dave, call in. If y'all got Dave, send him. I want to talk to Dave the Leprechaun. In fact, you don't. I won't make you dress up like an elf. I'll dress up like a leprechaun for you. Oh, I'll cool. humiliate myself for you. That's pretty big of you. You'll we... river dance to the beat of transphobia. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 And we promise not to have Sam Cedar on the call if you're afraid of him too. He will not be on that. Yeah, Zoom no. Call. No, no, no. I would never do that. Not to Dave. Yeah. Dave's family. Um, but this is all pretty good. I mean, it's all pretty quite delicious. Uh, the, the irony, the downfall. Here is Dave tweeting out a picture. Merry Christmas from all of us elves. Santa does sex stuff to us. He's a monster. 200 likes. Cool. You're rushing it, Dave. Good stuff. Dave, come on the show, please. Message him from the podcast. We, we, we love Dave. We support Dave. Uh, I guess. But anyways, tomorrow morning we'll be back with Leftovers. Yeah. Where we will probably continue to tap dance on uh, the grave of Steven Crowder's marriage. There's a lot more to talk about than that, though. It's been a big week. 
with uh, Tucker getting uh, right fired and all that. And, yeah, we'll uh, probably we'll we'll probably. I want to kind of stick to the news stories tomorrow as much as we can. Tucker, Tucker. But yeah, sorry we didn't get to do the prostate exam today. We'll work on that. Hopefully, have that for you guys soon. And um, maybe Dave will come for a prostate exam. Maybe, maybe we can. We'll let him know it's free. It's free. It's free. And he's probably, I mean, he looks older than me. I'm assuming he's a bit older. He's yeah, I, he's definitely within the range that it's appropriate to uh, get one. So Maybe pitch that to him, Olivia, if you're writing. <laughs> one more time. I would like him to invite him to participate in the prostate exam. Got it, got with it, got us. it. I'll include that. Yeah. You want a finger in the butt? That's what I'll say. Would you like to be digitally penetrated <laughs> on the show? Just a little PS at the end. <laughs> PS, like, how do you feel about this? 39, yeah. I'm seeing. Oh, he's so. 39? Yeah, so it's it's time. It's time. He's time, man. It's time, Dave. Come to the come here. We care about not only you, but your health. Oh, uh, he's from Detroit. Is that a rough one for you? Yeah. Damn. It's rough. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry about that. And you can say come as much as you want on our on Yeah, dude. Broadcast. Come on over and come, come, come. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow morning with Leftovers. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Um, love you all so much. Thank you to our gracious members. You guys uh, make it all happen for us here, especially when we don't have sponsors like today. So thank you, guys. And we'll see you for Leftovers tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.